All right. We back. <laughs> My expert. <laughs> so you know, like, <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Blade <Blaine, laughs> 1942. <laughs> we was in here for a little minute. Damn, how the <laughs> got down here so crazy? We got guests, man. It's about to be a we lit episode, guests. man. Y'all gonna have a sense of me. I might say some shit. Yo, hit that like, hit that share, let everybody know you in here. Of course, you know paper unless you're a mother hater. hater. And I forgot. My expert opinion, the greatest show in the world, 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 crazy, crazy, crazy. Yo, shout out to Complex. Uh, we got the number 10 slot. Number 10. Yeah, number 10. number 10 slot. Number 10. We supposed to be higher. Supposed yeah. to be higher. Supposed to be higher. Next year, let's I don't think they consider one. the fact that this ain't even a part of a network, bro. Everything else above us is, is a part of a network. That's one reason we supposed to be higher. That's a fact. One yeah, room. but it's that, that 10 shit. spot. It keeps popping up. Jim Jones did a top 10. We was 10. I'm like, mm. Don't make no sense. The numbers show differently. Yeah, we got to do something about that. I did notice that Joe Budden was number one. Mm -hmm. I felt like Queen's Flip should have been up there with him. Oh, he's a part of his show now. Yeah. I feel like Queen. Shout out to Queen's Flip. Shout out to Queen's Flip. Um, where else we going with this? Mac. Sir. What's it looking like? Slit. How's the A and R life? Uh, sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Does does that like is it difficult for you? Cause like you used to rap, so like you judging people off of like your level or uh, mm -hmm. I judge based on what's entertaining and what they can pull off. Um we're not talking about female rappers. I'm talking about like talking about rappers. Oh Jesus Christ! Right. <laughs> Jesus H Christ! Talking yeah. about MTs. Period. <laughs> shout out to Spliff. Shout out to Bus. Definitely Brand shout new out projects to Spliff. coming out. I this know y'all loving that Split Star episode. Mm -hmm. So much energy. That was <laughs> crazy. That was fire. Shout out Bless. to David Banner. Slide a lot of fly. So, David Banner got something out. Oh, he's he's Let's get him on the show. He's rumbling. Leave it in the comments if you want to see David Banner on the platform. Sean Bigger, man of God. Not many words. I give a couple words. I want to. Um, since the last time we shot, I want to say rest in peace to the children that was um, mm. killed in the last shooting, school shooting. Three kids, three teachers. Um, you know, yeah, absolutely. Um, the biggest, totally for the children. We have to understand we're under attack. <laughs> It, when someone goes to kill the babies, to kill the kid, that's beyond flesh. You know, we have to recognize what we're dealing with. I think. That's a fact. Yeah, that's some shit. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Um, Moody! You said you got something for me, man. What happened? Oh, shit. <laughs> I love the guess. But you know what? Big is going to check you outside. <laughs> no, check it now. Know. Like, Biggie's check, check, check it right now. Check it right now. Don't like, <laughs> you know, how you fuck that. Pull it up. You know, yeah. Yeah. Something. yeah, I shit at. <laughs> yep. That boy right there. It's like, yo, hold up, hold up. Check everybody. Ah, the Brooklyn joint. Hey. Oh, man. That's yeah. fuego. Fire. That's fire, bro. Man, that is fire, fire, man. Fire, fire. Shout out to my guy, Moody, man. I'm coming out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Great job. Wait a minute. Yeah, but you got it like number six, son. <laughs> Come on, son. Take it back, son. You got it. Like that. Okay. I'm playing. Shout out to the crowd. Right, right. hot. Good looking, bro. Ah. Splat Murder. What's goody? We in the building. Happy right. G-Day. Happy belated yeah, um, yes, birthday. Happy belated. Thank you. It's airy season. Big airy yeah. season. Big airy season. You know that. Thank you. Thank you, King. So y'all hype? Yeah. yeah, we hype. Yeah. On, you our cousin. You Taurus, ain't you? Yeah. You right around the corner. Right around yeah. the corner. Relax. Yeah, chill out. Y'all cool, day cool, coming. Cool. What you do for your birthday? Work. Work? Mm-hmm. And I went to a Knicks game. An escape? Went to a Knicks game. A Knicks game? Shout out to Dougie Fresh. Who celebrates like that? 
<laughs> Shout out to Ali Yusuf. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm taking shots all night. I swear to God, I'm taking I shots all no night. I have no idea why. How was the game? It's great. Did they win? Yeah. Who they played? We clinched the playoff spot. I don't know why Who they played, like Mecca? Yeah, I, I know. Uh, Washington. Oh, shit. Washington? Yeah, that's Come to be on, expected. Come on, son. <laughs> Come on. You asked the expected. question. You mad? They tanking. They tanking right now. You mad because you... You asked the question. You mad because I answered it? How many Knicks fans in the building? <laughs> we, know there's, we know there's at least three. Yo, Benny, why you ain't put your hand up? Because <laughs> no, I, I know you. I, I thought you was going to introduce me. I thought oh, I was going to introduce you. Once I start talking to every. You know what's the fucked up thing about this show? You know what I mean? Once I start talking to the niggas on the other side, you already know who the guest is before I yeah, introduce Yeah, yeah, you spoil right, right, right. We got to do something where, like, there's a walk in or something. You know what I mean? Like, you got to yeah. switch that shit up. That's a um, Champ, what it is? Everything is good. Everything is great. I'm happy to be home. Happy to be free. Happy to be in a room with legends. I have no qualms. Happy belated birthday again. Shout out to Fuego Bass. Shout out to Bono. Shout out to BSF, the whole family. Heem, Rick Hyde, all the boys. Love y'all niggas. And let the legend begin. Let the legend Shit. begin. That's Look, an intro. Let me tell you That's something, hell of man. Intro right <laughs> let me tell you something. Niggas is out here like... Mm-hmm. And I was like, what we doing? This is, that, this is what it is? My man was like, yo, come to this show, man. This dude, uh, uh, Westside and Conway, they just signed the Shady Records. Came through, checked it out, started following the movement. I seen Benny pop up on the scene. I was like, mm. oh, they, they keeping this shit alive. Mm-hmm. And then we saw the sound thriving. Thriving. Like, this is before the verses, you know, and kind of made people listen to, to a certain era of music, but this this sound, this New York sound, I appreciate the fact that you guys kept it important, you kept it authentic, you know what I mean? And when it comes to like spitters in the game, my man, you, you can argue top five. You can Facts. argue top five. <laughs> Facts. True story. Facts. <laughs> We're going to talk about Jake Cole first, though. But yeah, <laughs> Benny the Butcher's in the building, nigga. <laughs> the Butcher's coming. Butcher coming, nigga. The butcher. The thing about it, it's like this. It's like this with, 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 with anything. If you in the streets, if you doing music, anything, it's like, it's the respect of your peers. Right. And, 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 and I built a reputation on, when you get on a song with Benny the Butcher, uh, it got to be your best day. You know what I'm saying? I, right. I mean, just, just look at any of my features. Right. You're gonna look. You're gonna you're gonna get the flash of, of of your favorite version of this person. You know what I'm mm, saying? Right. That, you know that's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a that's blessing. A blessing. That's, that's a blessing. blessing. When you got the verse back though, was you like, yeah, I'm about to go another fifty on this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying like it's, it's history. You know what I'm saying? It's like progress. Right. I'm saying this is what we play the game you, for. See, you're trying to give me this political shit, bro. And I'm being I, honest. I feel you. And I'm being honest with you. It's like, yeah. it's like I'm from a place where nobody done this shit before, so I got I carried a different way on my back. Yeah. So it was just I'm 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 like an astronaut touching the moon. Nobody from where I'm from did what they did. So it was right. like, the the first the first thing I'm the first thing I'm thinking is like, shit going this nigga going crazy, and it's one of them ones, but. When when I when I do a record with somebody like that, that you know what I mean, you know, that's what they gonna say anyway. You know, I do I do records with people who who I'm way bigger than niggas who dope and they be like I'm here for Benny verse. They ain't even getting niggas a chance. Yeah. But you you mm. know you set yourself up though. How? How yo son, you got like fifty records like I'm the best. Nah, and and, and I still feel that say? and I still feel that way. Right. And I still feel that way. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and that's why and that's why I can get the get the features from niggas. That's why I can get the respect from niggas because Niggas like that, I got it. Niggas like that only, you know what I'm saying? They only fuck with niggas in that, you know what I'm saying? That type of world. Right. What's so, your biggest feature? It gotta be the, uh, gotta be the cold shit. Yeah, gotta be the cold. It gotta be the cold Stay shit. Cold? Now, what, 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 was your verse on it when you sent it to him? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now see, you don't do that. You don't, you, uh, it's an unwritten rule where you don't never send a, a song without the verse on it. For me, yeah. anytime I ever sent a song with no verse on it, it never came back. 
That's what I'm trying to say. It's like mm, I, I don't, they, they, I don't, I'm, I'm different. They, they, they you know what I'm saying? To, they I'm to. different. Nobody's, nobody, nobody's going to do that. You know what I'm saying? It's mm. like what, what we got. What you, what you got for this? Or you mm. record in the studio with them? And yeah, but you know, a lot of times we'll be busy trying yeah. to get shit done. But uh, depending I on who it is, I definitely uh, prefer to do it in the studio with them. Right. So, but especially if you already have an idea for the record, you set the tone by sending your verse. Yeah, so and you I, see where to where to go. Right. And I never change a verse. Mm. I never change a verse. Never, ever, never, never change a verse. Yeah. I done had niggas. I done had <laughs> niggas change <laughs> their verses, yeah. but I never change a verse. Cause, cause one thing about me is like I'm so competitive. Like I don't, I don't want that person to hear it and be like he changed that verse. Mm. Uh, and we not doing that. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying we standing on this. That's a suck, man. That's a fact. I, 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 I like that attitude. I like that attitude. What makes you so so confident in in what you do? Uh, honestly, I, I put the time in. I, I, I put the pain in. I put the, you know what I'm saying? It's like shit not by accident. Like a lot of people don't know before anybody before anybody heard me. I'm 30 mixtapes in on my side mm -hmm. since 2005. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Legendary status, independent shit. Yeah. Uh, all that type of shit. So it's like my confidence was built by that. Any 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 room I've been to, high school. Any prison I've been to, I was the best one, always around. And I and I was groomed by uh Wes and Conway. And the same thing for them boys. They've been doing it, like at our side. They've been doing it, so it's like I was I was raised under the the right niggas. Even DJ Shea, God bless the dead. Yeah. He he was a he was a guy known for finding the talent. Me, uh Conway, Armani, all came up under DJ Shea. Mm -hmm. in, in a sense. There's other guys who we came up under too, shout out Spoon, shout out uh, Alleyway Records. It's 38 uh, minute, 38 in that mix too. Uh, I, met, I met 38 when I was young, when I was 22. He, he got brought around early too mm. from DJ Shea and Green Lantern relationship. Green Lantern running around with uh, Eminem and shit. Mm. So it was like he want, he want, his, he want his artist to, to knock out a project. So he bring him to DJ Shea and DJ Shea introduced him to me. Was, was, is it true that you were signed to, to 38 at one point? Yep, hell yeah. Well, uh, what after, was that like? That was, that was, that was a dope moment. Cause a nigga, I was fresh. I wasn't fresh home. I was fresh off parole, and trying to get a spark back. You know what I mean? A lot of, like I said, it's 2000. It's around 2013, 14, and like I said, since 2015, nigga had a stronghold on upstate. So you know, a lot of people lost faith. Nigga going in and out of jail. A lot of people lost faith in me. So I needed that spark. He called me like, Yo, bro, we need to. You just need to come over here. We just need to lock in. We need. To, we need to make this happen. And I'm like, shit. That's that's perfect. What I needed. So. I went and did that for like two years. So when I came to Griselda, it wasn't like I was on a couch. And that's what Westside Gun knew. I wasn't coming off the couch. He knew like, oh, we buzz been working. The buzz would be perfect for this shit. Right. Mm -hmm. mm. Why sign anywhere Yeah. with everything you guys were doing? Mm. For one, the money. You know what I'm saying? For what two. What was the money like? Uh, like more than seven figures, seven figures plus. Hmm. And my, my, see, this is what a lot of people don't know. We're talking about Def Jam. Yeah, yeah, this is Def Jam. See, this is what a lot of people don't know. They see a guy like me sign a Def Jam. My Def Jam deal was like a licensing deal. You feel what I'm saying? It's a profit share and it's for one album. Yeah, I'm, hmm. in for, I'm in for Shady. No, no, no. He, he didn't, the Shady, yeah, see, I, I never signed sign the Shady. Shady. I never signed the Shady. You never signed the Shady. Mm -hmm. I got to work Come on, Mac, do your yeah, research, yeah. nigga. research. <laughs> going someplace with it, though. Nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, let's not clean that shit up. Let's not clean it up. I never signed the Shady. No, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. All right, all right. I wasn't asking, I wasn't asking just on behalf of him, but everybody was a legend on that side, mixtape wise. And when you guys signed that, signed the first contract as a label, as an organization, it kind of felt like you didn't, almost felt like you didn't need to. And if you hear a lot of people talk these days, they'll tell you to stay independent, stay independent, mm -hmm. sign anywhere. Stay. And you guys are one of the biggest independent things moving and then you sign. Mm -hmm. So I have to ask like, what, what was the thought process? The Not plus? just for you, but yeah. like for everybody. See, I think Griselda, Griselda like, man, we changed this shit. They ain't gonna talk about this shit till 20 years from now, the, the way they need to. Mm -hmm. Now you see, you see us, you see West Side Gun signed that shit, that shit ain't changed nothing. Nigga still dropping them Hitlers. Mm. Nigga had this fucking Hitler shit in Times Square for, for what, two years? Mm -hmm. Shit say Hitler up there. So those was independent albums. The plugs I met, one, two, independent. Uh, Conway, he put out shits, Everybody is Fool, the EIF shits, all the way up to five. You know what I'm saying? These are on streaming services. 
Mm. So Shady and Interscope understanding the, the, the formula and understanding the dynamics of the label, they let niggas do what they do. See, even 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 with Dev Jam, anything we do moving forward, they have to understand the dynamics of it. It ain't for just sit us down and and, and y'all call to play and we working together. You know what I'm saying? So, so what's the benefit though? The benefit is 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 a is a, uh, a broader audience. I'm saying we can't we can't we can't act like you know what I'm saying like niggas get pigeonholed. They try to pigeonhole niggas. Mm-hmm. It's a broader audience. It's bigger rooms. It's a bigger staff. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For shit, for the team, it ain't about me. I got niggas like Fuego Base, like you said, niggas like Heem High. I'm going, I'm going for the, I'm going for the the big shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going, I'm going, I'm trying to take a step. Clearly, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Of course, it, it definitely wasn't about the money. It was a step. That's why it took me. I've been going to label meetings since 2018, since I put Tanner Talk out. I've been in label meetings. Mm-hmm. I've been in Atlantic. I've been in RCA. I've been damn near everywhere, to be honest with you. Best, best yeah. and worst meeting. Because I know sometimes uh, the, those situations could feel a little disrespectful, and sometimes it's like, wow, they really fucking with me. Uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, the worst meeting was, I don't want to say worse, but with Atlantic. You know what I'm saying? Craig Carmen mm. and Judy. Mm-hmm. Julie, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to them, you know what I'm saying? It was just that they had, they had their thing going. This was new to me as an independent artist. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't taking that type of jump. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I felt uncomfortable. You know, they was letting me know, like, we got Cardi over here. We got we, we got Kodak over here. We got Meek over here. And it was like, yo, that's dope. But it was like, I didn't I didn't see a place for me. Mm-hmm. Bruno over there. So I'm like, nah, this this ain't the move. So when people say, see, I went to Dev Jam, like all of that's calculated. When they say, yo, Dev Jam really not in a good state. That's why a nigga went over there. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's when you when you when you come up <coughs> as an independent artist. You're never going to feel like the label can do more for you than you can do for yourself. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm never going to feel that. They got to call me and tell me to slow down. Like, what you doing? Hold up. Why you post that? Or why you drop? I mean, they got to tell me to slow down. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm used to Hustle doing it, shit a man. certain way. Yeah. Yeah. You Hustle. feel what I'm saying? So, right. you know what I mean? I, you know, a lot of people got to keep that in mind. They think a label is a some type of concierge service. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's the, the furthest thing from it. These motherfuckers ain't tapping into you unless you're getting money already. And... If you get money already, you already like some sort of well oiled machine. I mean, like, y'all know. Right. <laughs> I mean, nobody come knocking until, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know how that shit move. goes. Same shit. Right. Yeah. But I watch I watch people sign deals and be hard headed. Mm-hmm. Like, you signed over here, they can add something to you, but you keep doing this other thing. You're good mm-hmm. enough to get to here. And if you mm-hmm. want to do something different, you want to be someplace different, you got to mm-hmm. do something different. Right, 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 right. It doesn't take anything but a, a couple of adjustments, but I've seen artists just like post a song before the team was ready to maximize it. Mm-hmm. It takes a couple of more hands, it takes mm-hmm. a few more calls, a couple more emails, and now we can get this thing where you said you wanted it to go. But you're still moving as if it's just you right. and you just, you know, regular degular. So oh, you right. want to keep doing that regular shit or did you want to come over here and let us put some, let us put a megaphone behind what you're doing? Exactly. Well, it, Chris Brown feature. Exactly. It's, like, yeah. it's all about what these niggas be aiming for. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, with me, it's definitely I want to go higher, but I want to make the genre. I want to broaden the genre. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. shout out to guys like Mayhem Lorraine, Rock Mars. Rock Mars. Uh, mm-hmm. Just a whole bunch of guys I can name. Uh, Danny Brown. A whole bunch of guys who came who came up in his lane who kind of helped uh, Sky Zoo, who kind of helped usher yeah, us shout in. Out to Sky. S- shout out to Sky. Sky. I call him the Oracle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Guys who help usher us in, who probably didn't get the looks that we get. Them niggas put a lot in the work, a lot of work in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I want to. I want to graph. Yeah, graph. Yeah, graph. Hell yeah. yeah! It's like I want to. I want to. I want to take them steps for the genre. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. so we can get the invites to certain shit that we not getting invited to. As you can see where it's at now, they, you know, it's a conversation now. The lyrical rap is a conversation. Not saying that that's all on us, but we played a part in it. You know, nigga want to push it further. Mm-hmm. We want to be acknowledging this shit. You know what I'm saying? We got these lyrical underground backpack rap niggas at Dev Jam again. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. That's what I mean. So was it? Was, did Snoop reach out to you for Dev Jam, or was it vice versa? Yeah, it, it was. It was. It was uh, Snoop. They don't be liking when I tell to tell this story. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh, man. Uh, you know, because honestly, a lot of work was put into me signing the Def Jam. A lot of work. And and 
they don't want the people who was putting the work in before Snoop came in. They don't want to be shaded. You know what I'm saying? But you know, Snoop is Snoop. He speaks. He speaks in a different language. And he know how to talk. He know how to talk to niggas. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times it'd be black and white with the business. Snoop like, yo, what? What's happening? This is what we need to do. Ah, ah, ah. Ain't, ain't no, ain't no yellow tape. Ain't no nothing. We mm-hmm. get on the phone and we call a guy. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? So that's why they don't like when I tell them. When I mean they don't want to give me give one person all the credit, but I think Snoop do deserve a lot of the credit. The way he spoke to me in my language that I understood. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So would you have? There was a great chance you maybe not. Maybe wouldn't have gone to Def Jam if it hadn't been for Snoop talking that talk. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's a fact. Okay, that's, that's what I'm. Fact. That's what I'm hearing. Big facts. You know what I'm saying? I'm still getting used to hearing Snoop and Def Jam in the same sentence. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 you don't hear it too often. That's still wild to me. Mm. That sheesh. I love it though. I love it. Cause I, I I feel like the natural evolution of all rappers is to become an executive or mm-hmm. somebody who could put other people on. That's like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like. Just like hood shit, like you start with a pack, you bubble up, you do, and you get your own work, and then you start putting other people on. I feel like that's supposed to happen. Hell I'm yeah. watching what you're doing, and I see you're kind of you're moving on on that that wave already. You got, you know, BSF. Um, who's your artist? I got Fuego Bass right here. Uh, I got Heem. I got Rick Hyde, Camino, Love Boat, Luciano, Young World. Whole bunch of us, man, producers, artists, uh, guys who could play shit over, uh, A and R's, mm. motherfucking presidents, CEOs. It's just a, just a team of us. Right. Mm-hmm. You said you guys know, that could play shit over. I'm guessing because some of these sample clearances be like, damn. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> they just just, damn. They want 100 percent. Like, damn. Yeah. In perpetuity. Yeah. Throughout the universe. Yeah. Own your whole shit. I want to talk about your guerrilla marketing. Mm-hmm. Right, so I <clears throat> I first bumped into you face to face at the Burn the Plug store. Right, right, right in Long Island. And when I went there, the first thing I recognized was how everything was set up a certain way, right, to engage the fan. Mm-hmm. Right, even if there was somebody who wasn't a fan that was in there, somebody said, "Yo, come to this Benny the Butch, Benny the Butcher um show," mm-hmm. they would be sold when they walked through that door. So I see you had the merch. You had certain things with the drinks going on. You had certain artists there at the beginning. What are your steps in guerrilla marketing when you're putting on a show or a tour? Man, just everything. A nigga doing everything out here in his in his power. Like I said, nigga, ain't, ain't get the close, ain't get nowhere close to where I'm at until I was 32, I'm 38. Mm-hmm. So it's like I got to watch everybody. I got to watch everybody do their shit and take mm-hmm. a little of this and take mm-hmm. a little of that. I got to sit back and and been and been avoided by the game. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So just. Anything a nigga could do. Like I said, I'm a nigga who they got to tell, like, yo, slow down. We know them already. You ain't have to call them people. We call, we talk to them for you already. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I mean, I'm one of them niggas, man. Right, right. Persistent. I'm one of them niggas. I, 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 can't, I can't sit back. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people tell me that I do too much. Mm. I just can't sit back. When, you, when you, you come from where we come from, when you wake up, you find yourself in this position. Nigga, it's go time, no matter what. It's go time. Mm-hmm. At all times. I was I never understood like how artists certain artists would sit around and wait for like labels to do shit. I can't man. understand that. Because they don't know what to do otherwise. I can't understand that. That's the that. only reason to wait is because you don't you don't know what it is, what needs to be done. That's the only reason to wait. But patience is a virtue. There is such a thing as like overdoing it. If I call that person and you call that person and somebody else called that person. Oh, I forgot you were an A&R. Look, he talking about shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He going to sell it. Right. He going to sell it. He's selling right. it. I don't, like, right. I don't like being called three times in a row for the exact same mm-hmm. person. Like, I got it. I heard you. I'm already doing it. Like, wait, are we starting over? Did, did, did you want to do something different? Are you right, calling right, me about right, something right. completely different? You calling me about the same thing? Oh, okay, cool. I got you. Third person call. Is this the same? Is it the same track that we was just... Mm-hmm. No, it's a different track. Oh, okay. Is it... No, no, it's the same track. Same track. Uh, that's why I like independent labels in contrast to majors, because that fucking money takes too long. To <laughs> it come takes forever for that major from the though. fucking major, bro. Yeah. Real yeah, what was it that like? Too long. When you sign, was you like checking the account every day, like you know, you know what's so crazy? <laughs> I'm, I've been, I was in a blessed position that I had just got my back end money from Empire. You know, a nigga doing good for itself anyway mm-hmm. by, by the grace of God, but. I didn't have to, and, and that's what fucked me up. I'm like, damn, a nigga waited this whole time, his whole life to sign his Dev Jam deal, or sign a deal to get a good number like this, and, and the money ain't even matter. 
That shit, that's what fucked me up the most. Mm. You're, you're you know what I'm saying? Nigga, nigga, nigga was poor. Like everybody else. I'm saying, I'm like, damn, that's fucked up. Right. You know what I mean? You know how, you know, growing up watching TV, you seen the right. Cash Money Brothers? Cash mm-hmm. Money, Baby Slimming them niggas? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I signed, when I signed my Dev Jam contract and nigga was lit up already, I felt like Baby. I'm saying, like, niggas, niggas really doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I felt. That's what I felt them label seen. They don't mm-hmm. want to baby nobody, man. Any, mm-hmm. That's why it's not even about the music no more. That's why you got. Anything and everything the fuck out there, cause they fucking with the niggas who who got a flow, who who could push, who could hustle. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right. Facts. I mean, it's definitely it's definitely something to be said for throwing gas mm-hmm. on something that's already on fire. Mm-hmm. At the very least, at least you know you got somebody who's willing to work. Exactly. The last thing you want is an artist you gotta you gotta stress and pull them to every every little thing. Oh, come on, just. Post this. Come on. Listen, listen. That's it's, terrible. It's three days late. Come on, man. Like her, the, oh, man. You wanted to shoot the video. All right, what happened to it? Where is it? Like, man, that's terrible right there. I hate that shit. That should be... Eh. Constant. What, what's the biggest difference between Empire and Dev Jam? Empire and Dev Jam, the biggest difference is... I think, well... I think at Empire... <clears throat> man, honestly... It, it, it kind of was like it kind of was like West situation. It was a West situation. Hmm. So I really wasn't acclimated with the staff like that. I wasn't acclimated like on, on on the process of how everything was until until I was already in talks with Dev Jam. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. By the time me and Gazi was getting on the same page, I was already like I was I was already like kind of one foot in the door. You know what I'm saying? So hmm. Empire, I did my shit with them. De- definitely, Dev Jam seems. Dev Jam seems like it's more calculated, but it seemed that way. I, I'm not gonna say it is, cause mm-hmm. Gazi do a shit over there. Right. It's just like you, like you said, like you know, major label shit. You know, the, on the, on the samples, you know, major's not budging on them shits. You know, Gazi will put that shit out. We we'll talk about that later. Right. You know what I'm saying he 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 know independent. He know how to deal with the momentum and, and shit like that. But, right. Uh, Keep it going. Right. Uh, Dev Jam, they you know that they know how to see the bigger picture. They know how to. Uh, they they want to build a brand. They want to, you know what I'm saying? They want to build. So it's a difference. I never was in a position where I was building with Ghazi. You know what I'm saying? I was putting the albums out through Griselda, through Empire. But Dev Jam is a different situation. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Avoiding mistakes. Yeah. Before they happen. Being signed to West Side. How? What what made you not want to continue that situation? Uh, it's, it's, it's not that I didn't want to do it. It was, it was time to, to do different shit. I gave Buzz four albums, you know what I'm saying? Four of them. Great, great albums, you know what I'm saying? Some of the best version of me. You know, he, he's a curator, that's what he do. You see, he got fucking with Stove, fucking with Bodie James, mm-hmm. uh, Rome Streets, that's what he do. Armani, he like to curate. He, he, he's inspired by different artists, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I guess, same thing me, the same thing I've always been doing. Like I had Buzz support when I was uh, when I was fucking with Trust. Mm. He, I mean, he was right there. He he knew what was going on, so he know what I like to do. He that's my word on everything. He he was telling me this shit like three years ago. He was like, "Yo, Benny, Benny gonna be the nigga who who getting who gonna be getting booked at clubs, club dates, and walkthroughs." And mind you, we rapping on all of these Derringer Wu Tang beats. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm like, they gonna be playing this shit at a fuck. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing I want to ask you. <laughs> I mean, you make you, mm-hmm. you 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 put it in like you know your verses, right, right, right. But why y'all specifically like make some records for the bitches, bro? Like, because you, know, <laughs> you call it a bitch for the women. <laughs> for the women. But you, come on, my nigga. If I said it on a record, it wouldn't even sound bad. You'd be right, like, right, right. Hey, <laughs> you know they, know they know who it's for. Uh, to be honest with you, because a nigga, me, me personally, I can't speak for them. I wanted to do it when the time was right. I didn't want to take a shot in the dark. Like mm. coming, coming, coming from being a local artist, you know, people, people wasn't checking for me for a female record. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. I only got in this position behind that. Nigga done did trap music. Nigga got female records mm-hmm. before all of this shit. But when it came back time to do this, it was like this is what we doing. So niggas don't think that that nigga Conway know how to trap rap do all of that shit. Right. Auto tune, all of that, that shit. shit. But it's like. That, that that didn't make us famous. That didn't get us rich. Right. It was fun and we could still do it. So when we switched to this and and, and, and having so much success with it, yeah. it was like, nigga, I, I drove the nail in the coffin. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's what I did. I, I ain't look back for four or five years. I'm, I'm, I'm this the, this the, uh, this the lane I'm in, and I'm going. You know what I'm saying? And then now you look up and. It's kids who listen to this shit, females and shit. But it is, it is time to do the shit for the females. But I want it the right way. Yeah, like the, I want, I, I, I want to speak in my language because if it don't be that way, it's shit gonna be so corny. And yeah. I ain't, I ain't with that shit. You know? I think when you pull up to the show, I know you be head counting like, I don't want bitch. So, like, we need more in here. You know what I mean? like, we need more of these. I want to sign some titties. I want to, you know what I mean? Like, like um, Havoc sat in that chair and he said, um, what, what's the record where he was tongue kissing the chick in the video? Uh, with 112. I know what you're talking about. Um, I can't remember the name of the song. I just know that one, him, 112. Mommy, hey Love? 112. It's called Hey Love or something like that. That hey was, that no, was, don't no, fuck that, that, that was, no, 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 it's cool. It's called Halo. No. Hey, love, I want to walk with you and talk with you. Is it you. Hey, that's love? Hey, yeah. Well, he, he know. This, he I'm telling you, bro. Nah, that's how it starts. In jail, nigga. Come yeah. on. Right. He know. He know. <laughs> he know. He know. He know. He know. He know. I was singing that in jail, nigga. <laughs> infamy, oh, nigga. I was on it. I was oh, on it on son, Infamy, nigga. Come on, bro. Infamy, the whole album. Front to back. No, you're right. As soon as it's going to make that girl song, they going the females going to tap in, but it got to be natural. Hey, love. Hey, love. Hey, love. Yo, bro. Yo, you owe me on He said, Hey, love. <laughs> I mean, we would think Shook Ones, we would think Quiet Storm. Hey, Love was their biggest record. Mm -hmm. You yeah, think they, that was their biggest they got record? With 50. He said that. Havoc said that. I thought Quiet Storm was. No, no. Havoc said Hey, Love was their chart, biggest record. Chart wise, mm -hmm. chart wise, mm -hmm. that makes sense. But if they well, wasn't, like if, says, if, if, the they wasn't right. if they wasn't with Fifth, I don't think that's happening. If they if they attempt that female, well, they wasn't with Fifth, Fifth at that time. That infamy? No, infamy. That's no, the infamy. Nah, infamy was, was, it wasn't with fifty. It yeah. wasn't. Mm -mm. No. They came yeah, to fifty. Nah, uh, they, blood money. They blood money was with fifty. When, when, when they made that one shit, they was. You know that female shit. They they wasn't with fifty when they made that shit. Yeah. It was nah, about the same was, song. Was, they nah. got nah. they got with fifty and they made all the hard shit. But like. Hey, they got the, fit, the shit with 112? That's not with Fifth? Nah, that's the Infamy album. That's the Infamy album. That's a little before. Nah, that's before them. I don't know. I don't know. Right after that is when they got with Fifth. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, nah, that's not Fifth. They don't got the G and They got the Diddy Leathers on in the video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not the Diddy Leathers. Shit crazy. That's when, that's when but if that was, was the, the right best rapper timing. in the game. Say that again? That's when P was the best rapper in the game. For sure. Rest in peace, Prodigy, oh, man. Queens Yo, get the money. Rest in peace, Prodigy. Queens that was the right the timing money. for them. You mad like, what me? That was, saying, you said it was the right time. time. So, yeah. so you're saying you got to be the best rapper in the game to like I think, kiss a chick in the video? I think, <laughs> I think, like where, where I think where our music land at, that ain't where the females looking for music at. So it got to fall on their type. It got to fall on their lap. You got to, you know what I'm saying? It got it got to appeal to them. They got to see it. It got to cross mm -hmm. their their board, or whatever, for they fuck with it. Mm -hmm. They not going on like these blogs or wherever our music is at, and it got to translate to them. That shit I did with Queen Nigel, mm -hmm. even just having a female on my record, that's right. almost like a female song because they right. they identified mm -hmm. to that song the most. But mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. Was that a big record for you? Yeah, hell yeah. That's why this whole tour, that song called "Thank God I Made It." I'm going on a "Thank God I Made It" tour. Yeah. yeah. So it's a dope record. I mean. Mm -hmm. But really, I'm about to get back in the gym and shit. Once I do that shit, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's time to get it. Nigga. It's time. Nigga, it's time. Nigga, get it. Nigga, get in the gym. Get in the gym. You know what I'm Real saying? You know what I mean? Get the joint wax. Hey, wait. Hey, yo. I said not the you joint. You said? <laughs> they ain't going to pull that shit. He said get the joint wax. You know what I'm saying? That's your man. Nah, come on. Don't be quiet now. No, you just said you were singing. Hey, you up in jail. Nigga, you said get the joint wax. Nigga, you crazy. Wow, bro. That's a mean pose. Hey, love, bro. let me Poor walk man. with you. Let me just, <laughs> nothing but niggas walking around. I'm just trying to be right, wow. nigga. I'm just trying to be right, you know? <laughs> so uncomfortable. But, but nah, I was you wondered know, that, like, why, why not? Like, I know, I know you be hearing it. Because, mm -hmm. Benny, I know you be sliding. I, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. And they be like, yeah, you make it done for me. He's like, when you gonna make a song for me? When you gonna make a song about ladies? When you gonna do it? I'm like, man, time. Nigga go in the booth soon. and be like, bricks, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and what them hoes do? They be right, they be right, right. Listen to that shit. You know what I'm saying? I saw. I remember seeing women at your show. The first yeah. Brazil show I ever went to was with Bus. Right. And uh, there were like couples. There were couples watching. Mm -hmm. Like it was shorty. Like 
Come here, baby. We gonna no, that's what yourself. I discovered too. When it is women, no, he was cuffing because there was mad niggas in there. He was like, he stay right here. Yeah, that's squeeze her ass. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> niggas do that shit when it's a crowd. They can walk past and get that squeeze. One half the quarter versus nobody in this. Stay still. No, really. We looked out. You look out, and then it was like legit couples, like dude with his shorty, and they. She right here, he right here, and they just watching this, and they both singing along. Mm-hmm. I don't remember seeing shit like that at a at like a street show. Yeah, and it was grimy as shit, but there were people in there with their mm-hmm. with their girls. Well, I I think um, I mean just due to the music, like mm-hmm. if you living that life. I mean, in my experience, I found like there was a lot of females that was more loyal than niggas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. There was chicks that are, that is slide with the hammer before certain niggas that you thought was the killers mm-hmm. would do it. Yeah. So like I know I I don't like like rewinding back to those times, was there females around you that you felt like, yeah, yo, man, she's a Hell yeah, she. man. Like I'm a I'm a I'ma do a movie called Fighter Fifty, my my a girl India. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's been my girl for nine years. Nine years. Mm. Held that shit down from you saying from we lived in the peas together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So and, and before that, before I got with her, you know, a nigga, a nigga phone ringing, shit, the nigga, shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then a nigga fell off fucking with her. She seen when I was uh fucking with doing my own shit with the rap. She seen I was fucking with Spence. She seen I was fucking with Wes. She see where I'm at right now. So she got to see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She she definitely bagged grams up before. There, there, there was a there was a track <laughs> uh-huh. she was talking about. Yeah, that's her. Yep, that's yeah. her. She, yeah. she definitely bagged grams up before. She definitely did the whole shebang. You know what I mean? She police she, was at the door and all that. All of that. All of that. Yeah. yeah. What what'd mm. you do? Shit, nigga, the house was hot. Nigga, niggas trapping out the house. You know what I'm saying? They catch you not, flushing. Not real shit. They caught me flushing. <laughs> nigga trapping out. It's a house we're not supposed to trap out of, so only the exclusive customers get to come to the house. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the crazy thing about it was they wasn't even looking for me. They was looking for my homeboy. He was in a different room. Mm. I couldn't believe it because this was his first felony. I got three. I had three dope cases. I, I just knew they was coming for me. Like, like I said, I went to the door. I heard the police. I'm like, what the fuck? I went back like, yo, I think the police at the door. She's like, you want me to get it? I'm like, hold up. I know I had like 50 grams or some shit like laying mm-hmm. on the table, mm-hmm. but I couldn't find it. I must have put something over. I ended up finding the shit. And then I'm like, I hear the police coming up the front stairs. I run in the bathroom. I hear them coming up the back stairs. You know, I slam dunk that motherfucker in the toilet. Boom. And then I flush the toilet. Like, he's flushing. They running that motherfucker. I'm like, I just woke up. They ain't Took a piss, nigga. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like when I was pissing, just pulled me out, asked me about my boy. He's like, yo, is such and such. He said, is in the government ain't he, is he in here? I'm like, I don't know. I really didn't know because, you know, I'm staying here with my girl. He, he a bachelor. He nigga coming in. I probably was asleep already. I really didn't know. But I knew he was back there when I when I heard him like, get down. Oh, there he is. Yeah. But hell yeah, they wasn't even there for me that day. Wow. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. Just a fucking wow. blessing. They left. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, they, and they didn't even search the house, and I didn't have to flush that fifty grand. Yeah, I was mad as fuck. I was pissed. You was mad as fuck, bro. I was, I was calculating in my head like a motherfucker. My nigga, this is yeah. like a hundred and fifty megatons like, nigga, you of work me. in the That's sewers. Like, nigga, when you come home, you me, nigga. <laughs> in the sewers alone, nigga, go through the sewers. Mm-hmm. You be a kingpin out here, son. Ah, no, uh, oh, damn! I need to do that. Did not have to flush that shit. But no, Indy been there. Indy been there from jump. I'm saying took trips with me to when I was paying to perform showcases, uh, wearing the shirts. When, when I when I first started getting my motion, she coming to the post office with me, helping me mail shit off, helping me mail the merch off, just mm. certain shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Bonnie and Clyde, Bonnie and Clyde, hey, man, yeah. for real though. But for real. but but that's it. Okay, so now I gotta ask because I know like it's a different experience. Like, okay, yeah, she was with you at that point. Mm-hmm. But as your career starts to grow, mm-hmm. you start experiencing more success. There's more eyes on you. There's more attention. Your phone's ringing more. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't. Your, your your mind is is moving off of the things that was important before onto mm-hmm. other things that can solidify your legacy. Do you find was it difficult to keep that relation going? In those uh, moments. Most definitely, it's it's different keeping that relationship going with the homies. It, it, mm. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's been this interfered. I'm saying with with, with my kids, mm. Mm. but now nah, I'm gonna be honest. Like I'm a relationship specialist. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm a behavioral specialist. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's a real. relationship <laughs> specialist. <laughs> man. He just don't make songs about it. It's crazy. It's crazy. That's why I don't, because if they don't want to hear this shit that I'm saying, it's this shit too real. Right. But, but to be honest, I was married. You know what I'm saying? I'm a nigga divorced. Hmm. Uh, At what age? I got married when I was 22. 22? Mm. 22. You, know what I'm you wasn't I locked up, right? I wasn't locked up. I, I got out of prison and I married her. Uh, like, a, like a high school? No, school no I met her. I met her. Uh, I was with her three years before we got married. When I was 19, I met her, uh, had a baby with her, uh, married her, ended up by 2013. This is two, 2004, we was on. By 2013, it was over. Uh, so mm-hmm. I learned a lot about women. I learned a lot of grown man shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot mm-hmm. of a lot of shit that niggas don't put into play. So mm-hmm. I communicate with my girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I my relationship different. You know what I'm saying? I, motherfucker, not perfect at all. You went to counseling? Nah. No. I no. am my nigga. I am. I'm trying to tell you, I am counseling. You are counseling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, I am counseling. Okay. So why did the why did why the last the one one end? Why did the first one fail? Because Thank you. The, that's the, the first the first rule is you got to be with somebody who compatible with you. No matter how much you love them, no matter if you had a baby with them, the first thing you got to find somebody who's compatible. She wasn't compatible with me. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, you grow. You need somebody who's going to grow with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's the first thing. You got to let somebody know like, yo, this is what we're doing every day. You know, in three more years, it might not be like this. We might, we might be more fucking farmers. Then after that, we might be in the stock market. Mm-hmm. Ain't no telling. So you need somebody who, 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 who especially when you live this type of life, who's ready to take that journey with you. Mm-hmm. And then they only going to be willing to take that journey with you if you... If it's worth it for them, for one, mm-hmm. far, far as security, mm-hmm. uh, whether it's that's love or whether that's financial, all mm-hmm. that type of shit, it got to be worth it. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it's not, it's not the same thing. It's not the same so thing. So y'all grew yeah. apart, I think? Well, yeah, I, I feel like me and my baby mother definitely grew apart. Because mm-hmm. he was she rapping those songs about it. Probably, no, nah. see the crazy shit was I was. You was that's the crazy shit because that's before all of this. I was that's before you stopped. I was. See the I reason know. you stopped. Like, nigga in and out of prison. Then she left. She ain't the reason I stopped. But mm. you know what I mean, like I, I I'm, I, I'm not. I can't be talking about these women in my songs. These specific women in my shits, man. Why? I, I can only talk about one. I can only talk about India. You see, you, Fighter Fifty. That's a female song. That's a Griselda love song, my yeah. nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And the song India is called, it's named after her. That's a Griselda yeah. love song. Trust me. Mm-hmm. My bitch is celebrity. I'm saying, this is my wife. I can could, I could say that. Yeah. She is celebrity just off of them. Like, she go around people like, yo, we know you. She take pictures with people because they inspired off our story. Right. So it has to be, it, the, the female song has to be in my language. You know what I'm saying? So, right. hell yeah. I agree with that compatibility shit because if you, if you meet a girl or you've been with a girl and mm-hmm. you start to grow, from her. Mm-hmm. Let's say she used to work in a nine to five, but you a hustler. Right. Right? You stuck in that nine to five state all these years, but I'm moving mm-hmm. at an exponential rate. And I told you, yo, listen, fuck with me. This is where we're going to go. That's a fact. It's not going to work. At if all. it's a woman that you got to take care of all the time and she not pursuing no type of hustle, it's not going to work. Cat- yeah. The co- compatibility is gone. Mm-hmm. Right. What was there at the beginning is gone. Unless, unless she's built to support you. Which is different. Right. Yeah, if she can, if she can bring some other elements to the relationship that you're lacking, even though you're hustling and doing your one mm-hmm. twos, if she can bring those elements, then cool. Nah, I want to hear from the specialists how this works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I got to take on that. Real yeah. shit, I'm gonna tell you, you got to deliver what a person need. A female, a nigga might be like, I got money. She don't need money. Mm-hmm. You, a nigga might, a female like, yo, I cook, I clean. I don't, I don't need you to do none, none of that, of that shit. shit. Mm-hmm. This is what I need you to do. So you got to be versed in where a person needs you at. And, and sometimes, and sometimes, people can't stand on that. You know, first thing a nigga gonna go with is his, is his bankroll. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that's why niggas be offended when she, she don't need you for that. Mm-hmm. First thing a female do, like, I cook, I clean. This pussy good. I don't. That shit don't mean nothing. nothing. Mm-hmm. Right. So once, once we swallow our pride and, and figure out, like, okay, she, she, she don't need me to be the running back. I, I'm, I'm the kicker. Hmm. It's gonna, it's gonna last longer. Just to be honest, she, when you get out of her way and when she get out of your way, it's gonna last mm-hmm. longer. You know what's killed mine? Yeah. Quality time. Mm-hmm. That's always been like the the downfall of my relationships. A woman's deal breaker will be time. She needs mm-hmm. time, nah, and it's you, time I, I don't have. Side, you always right. in the dojo, nigga. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so stop, stop kicking, 
Stop kicking niggas for two for three nights out the week, and you can kick it with your shorty. You know what I mean? When you want to be when you're in pers- when when a when a man discovers his goal, and you discover your purpose. Mm-hmm. It because it becomes all encompassing, and a woman has to understand that she doesn't come before your purpose. And a lot of women don't get that. And a lot of women's deal breaker is quality time, and it doesn't make them a bad. There's no villain in that story. You're not a bad guy for wanting quality time. I'm not a bad guy for pursuing my purpose. But at the same time, when those, like you said, if it's not compatible, if you need time, I that's the one, one thing I, right. I'm not for you. Be like you. So you could, but you communicated this to her. I communicate. I, I communicated to them all, but they don't. It's it's different <laughs> for me to say it. So you communicated to them at the onset, like you're on pursuing a purpose. And I don't want you to get in the way of my purpose. I'm going to make time for you when I can make time for you, but I got to concentrate on this first. You explain that to them. It it doesn't sound exactly like that, but yes, I do. Some, it's some type of version of that. It, it's so it's how, a version how, how of you that. Say it? See, the thing about that's the beauty of it. Like, I, I'm dealing with who I was dealing with. Reason I, I, know I don't got I don't got to deal with no yeah. new chick who see me as Benny the Butcher. Like, this nigga got money. I need time. I'm dealing with a, a woman who know what the fuck I do, mm-hmm. who know I do it for her and our <laughs> family. So... Not tripping. I can I get dressed at ten o'clock at night and can leave the house and go to the studio. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker, like, where you not about to go? Why are you putting it on? You know, I put my best shit to go on the studio. Yeah. That's how I rap with my best yeah, shit on. I, I, like, <laughs> I feel like I want to do shit on Nigga be low down in the joint, like, it's about to be the hottest verse in the world. Nigga. <laughs> real <laughs> shit. So man, she she just understand me, but you got this this real shit, man. You niggas don't be doing that. You gotta. Looking, you you probably know you got gray in your beard and shit. You, you up on that. You, gotta, you, gotta, you you'd be surprised how many women never been with a nigga who grabbed their hand and look in their eye and tell them how you feel. Mm-hmm. Niggas ain't never did that. Mm-hmm. She gonna melt. That's because men don't yeah, trust women with hurt. their truth. That's a fact. Yeah, that's real. True. Because you, you gonna hear that shit tomorrow when mm-hmm. you get an argument. Nigga, you you ain't say that when you, you know what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. And, and the thing about women is. When you when you when you show vulnerability, they be like, checkmate, I got this nigga. That's a fact. And that's why you don't that's why men don't trust them. Mm-hmm. That's that's where it comes from. You, you want to tell a woman your, your truth specifically, but you get judged for it. Yeah. You don't want that flying back in your face. I even if it's something benign, I like this specific thing first thing in the morning. This baby ass nigga can't go one day without blah 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 blah. See, now you gotta go. And that <laughs> was something go. light. Imagine I tell you something oh, heavy man. and we get around people. Word. And here mm-hmm. comes that should be crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, for real. Some just yeah, different you can't me, share man. everything, I'm son. Jail. You can't yeah. share everything, man. Your Which chick, is unfortunate. You should get jammed up. Listen, let me tell you, in 93, this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> can't tell him everything. It's, it's some shit she's just better off that she don't know. No. Some shit she don't want to know. Right. That's a fact. So, so, so you're a supporter of kind of keeping certain information separate from the relationship. Uh, 100% transparency is sometimes dangerous. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Certain certain shit like, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> she might not need to. She might not need to know that that we at the studio that you invited the hoes. She don't need to know math invited the hoes. Oh, Who in here? Not just me, chat, yeah. math. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where's that going to get me? <laughs> oh God! She hear the background. I'm talking over like, yeah, what, what you watching? Yeah. I'm talking about <laughs> shit. Yeah, I, 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 I follow that. I follow it because, um, you know, I tried the 100, 100% transparency shit and sometimes shit gets mm-hmm. taken the wrong way and it's like, damn, nah, I wish I never said nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a task for, you know, everybody in this chair. You you have your success through, you know, what, what you're doing in hip hop. We have our success through, you know, the podcast, hip hop shit, mm-hmm. and all that. And your lives are changing. Mm-hmm. Right. And sometimes, like you said, it's it's more difficult for for the people in your life, the guys in your life, right, 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 because they don't understand. Motherfuckers sending you DMs, and you don't even see it, mm-hmm. and they feeling like, oh, this nigga ain't fucking with niggas no right, more. Right, like, right, yeah, right. That shit. 
You know or what I mean? False expectations of niggas, man. You know right. how that go? Yeah. False expectations. Niggas want you to do more for them than you than they do for themselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like any anybody when, when you when you when you get some money, anybody who wanna who you know what I'm saying who who wants you to help them out, gonna tell you like man, you know I like that you back in the hood that you ain't that you ain't forget about niggas. You know that that's real. That's honorable. Mm-hmm. Anybody with money gonna be like yo. Stay away from them niggas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stay away from them niggas. You know what I'm right. saying? So it's like, it's a it's a parallel and it's a it's a balance that you gotta find. Right. Because everybody can't go. You know what I'm saying that's what the, that's what I'm calling my new album. That wasn't an yeah, album. Everybody club, can't go. I saw but it. but that was but that was just real shit. Everybody can't go. And right. and that shit that I'm experiencing now. You know what I'm saying? At a different level of the career. Mm-hmm. We not just we at Dev Gym now. We ain't just dropping shit. Right. We're just you know what I'm saying. So I mean, shit getting different. It's, yeah, it's tough. Um, but. Like, but before we get completely off the relationship thing, I see you. How often can can your wife keep you out of shit? She probably knows you better than anybody else. Mm-hmm. She knows your temper. She knows your temperament. She knows what gets under your skin. Mm-hmm. She knows she can probably look at you and tell when you're about to act a fool. Mm-hmm. How often can she pull you out of some of the dumb shit that you're about to get into? Uh, a lot, a lot. She tell me so, a lot of times. She tell me like you don't need to go, or like you know my. My girl be in my business. You know what I'm saying? I'll be mm-hmm. on the phone. A nigga might be talking like, yo. Nigga might be like, yo, shit, what you want for the feature? I'm like, man, 15. Might be like 12. If, if it's on speaker, she'll be like, mm-mm. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she in my business. So so she on. She she she's very vocal. Mm-hmm. Right. We're we're experiencing this together. Right. So she's mm-hmm. very vocal. Like, you, you know, where you know him from? Or where y'all going? Yeah, you you been in that place before? Or how mm-hmm. was that? You know what I'm saying? She she's in my business. So just mm-hmm. when she shows and she she all she she from the P. She like that. Mm-hmm. So when she shows concern, she's a strong person. So when she shows concern, it's like it's a reason. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I'm I'm never tripping it. And you gotta get, in my opinion, when you when you when you in my shoes or a person like your, your shoes, you gotta give some type of people that type of power over you. You gotta listen mm-hmm. to somebody. You gotta yeah. value somebody' opinion. You know you, you got to. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because if you're not, you know what I mean? You you, you don't yeah. want to you don't want to be saying. Like sometimes I don't go just so she don't say I told you so. You know what I mean? Right. Like ain't nothing like ain't nothing gonna happen, but just so she don't say I told you so, I'm gonna sit my ass here and play undisputed. Right. Did right. she keep you out of rap beef? No, she can't do that. That's one thing. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 it's two <laughs> things I'm passionate. Yeah. I'm passionate about. Yeah. Talk about all my, this. My, my mama, my family. Yeah. I don't play about that rap shit. I'm passionate yes. about that shit. Right. I don't, I don't, uh-uh. She Ooh. can't stop you from beefing. Cause I'm a fair person. Anybody, if, if anybody know if, if if Benny on bullshit, somebody must have did something. Cause bro, bro, he he's a fair guy. He not on that. Yeah. It's, it's other niggas around who play that position. Right. But if bro on that, like y'all niggas did something. Niggas don't even want to hear. Niggas don't even want no explanation. Y'all did something. Mm-hmm. I'm saying so. Well, how how many situations have you been in as far as rapping? Mm, I would say, to be honest with you. I've been running shit back home forever. A ton of them shits back home. Every everybody who get them a little glow back home, and they think you know. I'm I'm like I'm like the last nigga on Tekken. You know what yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like the last nigga. You know what I mean? Everybody thinks we like, almost made it. We here now. <laughs> exactly. So everybody think they they their local success mean go 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 at me, but it don't mean that. It, it means mm-hmm. link with me. It means right. get under my deodorant. Yeah. That's what it means. Mm-hmm. But uh, well, when you say it like that, you know. It's, good. it's yeah, tough for like, you. Yeah. Yeah. So get my deodorant, little nigga. Who's volunteering to do that? <laughs> shit, back when we was, that's what my big homie used to say. Oh yeah, he's nigga under my deodorant. It did sound crazy when he said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 But I understood it. You know what I'm saying? Right. But besides, besides the shit with uh, with him, shit, nothing else, man. People, I'm a nice guy, man. People fuck with me. I'm a fair guy. I, I don't. I'm not backbiting nobody. I, mm-hmm. anybody who I. Any artist I fuck with who I had the opportunity to help, I helped them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, niggas. So, so how does that work? The, um, you know, the artist that's coming up, and then okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Benny. How do you receive it? It depends. It depends on who you are. I'm saying like, like make it interesting to me. You know what I'm saying? We we, we might have a situation on our hands. You know what I mean? Like, if, if niggas coming out of left field, somebody I don't know just making the diss song for my reply, like, I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. But, like, if, it, if it's a situation and, and, and it needs to be addressed, it's, it's definitely going to be addressed. Mm-hmm. We, we artists. This is what we do. 
we show more mm. with me i show a lot of emotion emotion in my music that i probably won't won't show in any other places yeah, that's true. Mm. You know what i'm saying so it's like if that's what we doing that's what we doing you know what i'm saying mm. how did those situations work out well if quit them niggas at aha <laughs> <laughs> no nah, you know nah, man you know how you know how this shit go man He's, you know what it's for. Like if, if if a nigga if a nigga making a diss track, if if you ain't did nothing to a nigga, you know what it's for. You know you've been through this, man. You, you get the niggas and, and, and I, I, I dealt with you definitely. You, you get that's to niggas. I, that's no, but, I said. but I, this is what I learned. Definitely, we, niggas have been rolled over, but a lot of times, we by the time you get there, niggas it be handshakes. It be like, bro, you know, niggas don't even oh, so I'm just trying to get on. You know so a lot of saying? times I don't even address it. Niggas be like, yo, you. Like right now, niggas making this song is back home and shit. Like I don't address it. As a matter of fact, I, I did tapped in a phone call. Like nah, bro, you know you hot right now. I, I ain't, it ain't about nothing. And and and, and it, and it could be another tough guy. You know what I'm saying I'm I'm just tapping in, seeing what's the situation is. Yeah. Because what people don't understand, man, these are people livelihoods. People get on these songs talking about guns and talk about harming. You've been saying I'm just playing. Yeah. My mom heard that, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My little cousin heard that. Heard that. Yeah. You tell them, you make the you make part two saying I was just playing there, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like and then, it's a and dirty don't game. understand. Sometimes it, it, it don't even have to be you. It could be your man mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. that love you mm -hmm. and heard that yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Catch who your ass coming out the Chinese store. Who ain't worth nothing <laughs> to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who can't do nothing for you but, but plug a nigga, you know what I'm saying? But, so. but it, the thing that I, I try to I try to project this to certain people. You know, I, I see people talking shit about me, whatever. Da, da, da. They, they be live on on YouTube or whatever, and I go hit them, hit they super chat. Yo, I got here for positivity. Mm -hmm. Negativity's not the way. Niggas would be like, ah, oh, well, if you a real nigga, you do da, da, da. and they'll still keep going. I'm mm -hmm. like, damn, these niggas ain't never gonna make it. Not ever, these, these. they don't understand. Like, the, once you get to a certain level, the climate is. We don't want no problems. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you look like a problem on your way up, motherfuckers is gonna go like this. True shit. Stop. True shit. You ain't going no higher. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's why you gotta be careful with that shit too. Yeah. I'm saying like, like I was just saying, if it's if it's personal, then I can see going back and forth. Has it ever been personal? Uh, yeah, it's been personal. Like if, even before this shit, it was it was personal. It was somebody who was who was from the who was supposed to have been. Groomed by some by the uh, niggas who was grooming us as young niggas doing music, and then we kind of like took a step up and was fucking with DJ Shea, uh -huh. and he was over there. So I mean, everybody was championing him like he could fuck with me, and he was my niggas. They was championing this nigga. Uh -huh. So you know, I took that very personal. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying I, I came and I and it was a battle just just us in the house. Uh -huh. you know what I'm saying so, but, but not not nothing since I've been in the game though. I mean, Is it I don't, a rap battle? Yeah, hell yeah. You know, we from the era. You don't think niggas rap battle yeah, before? I know yeah. Conway did. Yeah, hell yeah. I dude. seen that. It's hell online, yeah. by the way. You want to check it out. Mm -hmm. But, like, hell yeah. was it personalized bars? Like, Definitely. Definitely. Because it was like, you know, niggas had a little time to prepare. It was like, meet us here. <clears throat> First it was chatter. I, I nigga ain't even want to do it, but niggas was talking too much. So, yeah. just did that shit. But, you know what I'm saying, nothing, nothing since I've been in the game because I don't take none of this shit personally. Yeah. You know, that's a lie. Some some shit just pissed me off so much, but I understand it. <laughs> yeah. You know, like this shit with homie, like I don't I don't take that personal. I mean that nigga ain't, ain't come out the same box. I just learned a valuable lesson. What was the what you was the these, lesson? These niggas hide behind masks. I'm 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 a I'm a pleasant person because I'm just happy to be here coming from where, where niggas came from. I know mm -hmm. I keep saying that, but that mean everything to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm saying my nigga my nigga Fonz doing twenty two years. My nigga uh my nigga C just he just copped out the seven to fifteen. Uh, mm. Trig, they gave Trig life. Duffel doing eleven. Yep. Duffel. Uh, Shout out to my Duffel. nigga J Rock in a wheelchair, and it's niggas who, who came home. It was it was like indictments going around 17, 2018. So it's niggas who did their little five and six at home now. Like this was a nigga a real last chance. So I'm just pleasant and just happy to be here. So a nigga not a nigga not on what these other niggas is on. Right. So once I see these niggas hide behind masks and they just here try to entertain and I gotta keep my distance from them niggas. I don't wanna be involved with, with niggas like that. You know what right. I'm saying? And that's and that's how most niggas at the highest level. Mm -hmm. That's how they feel. Like, mm -hmm. Keep that shit down. You sound like champ. That's how champ talk. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to be here. Be it's a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. no, but I'm saying know, like that. You can't, 
you that's can't the, fuck with these niggas because these niggas will will ha, will have you sharpen their sword so they can stab you in the back. Right. Yeah. These yeah. niggas be running around here asking for features, and when you can't get it around to it quick enough, now it now they talk record. slick. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit is the craziest shit yeah, in America. Shit. Wow. So you got to be careful who you fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Right. What what is this dissing niggas to to to? Oh, they want your attention. That's all that is. Attention is the new currency. Ben said mm-hmm. it. Attention is a new currency. When it doesn't Jay matter. said I'm about a dollar with the fuck is 50 cent, it was over. And they, was right, niggas think they're going to go diamond. Niggas think they're going to make a song about you. They think Dre and Eminem going to come get them. Right. I'm saying they, they think the same shit that happened <laughs> for 50 going to happen to them. Nah, you got to get shot nine times. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? That's what they want. And make an album that nobody pays any attention to because Power the Dollar was first. Yeah, mm-hmm. before I get rich or die trying. That was that was like the lyrical lyrical fifty. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Trackmasters, you got to all oh, right. All that overnight success took like ten years. Yeah. Now you got to get your you got to get your best shit away. I've been telling niggas that all the time. Nobody you gotta, believes you got to get your that. best shit away before they even because niggas gonna hear your name before niggas hear your name. They ain't gonna listen to you. Nigga can tell you like yo that nigga he go crazy. A nigga is not gonna listen to you. He got to see for himself. You got to come across his radar with some of your best shit, mm-hmm. and then he's gonna catch the next album. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Real shit. Niggas not niggas don't niggas not breaking their neck to listen to another nigga. Nobody listens nah, to nah. me when I say that. Nah, I know. Sometimes a verse is as simple as like just pulling a memory out mm-hmm. and painting it. But then, you know, you throw some bars in it. Mm-hmm. You, are you like still in the studio, like busting your brain sometimes? Like, ah, this shit gotta sound right. It gotta make sense. It gotta, oh, I gotta, I gotta hit him with the little and. Then you hear like a nigga on the radio that's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, what the fuck am I doing? Real shit, real shit. How do you feel about that? Like, all the time I say that, I, I, be, I be listening to some shit on the radio. I be like, babe, you heard that shit? <laughs> I'm like, what if I would have said that shit? You think it'd be on the radio? Right. Fuck no. Right. 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 You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's what I say. I'm like, they accept that shit to from certain people. Right. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 yeah, the game, yeah, the game been dumbed way the fuck down. Way the fuck down. This shit, this shit that me and you know that's not hot. But we play it, we be like, yo, that's all right. According to what's going on now. No. Right. It's okay. Right. It's, it might be dope to like, like, you ain't gonna hear that shit. Yeah, Mech don't like, wanna hear that shit. It's dumb way down. You know Mech, what Mech, Mech hate all the littles. The lows, all the lows. Not all the lows. All the Lil Wayne is great. No, yeah, one. <laughs> See how fast that happened? one. Mm-hmm. Lil' yeah. Kim, she's fantastic. Bro, I could pull up like a hundred clips of you saying the lows. Call these niggas the lows. Well, I just mean like little <laughs> niggas in general. Okay. Right, right, right. Yeah. It's just that my thing is. They try to act like the, the lyrical music didn't matter. We know we know the other shit. We know the other shit was at its peak and going crazy. We understand that. But they try to sweep this shit under a rug. You know what I'm saying? There's never been a time in hip hop where the nicest dude wasn't on top. Period. Mm-hmm. It's never been an era where the nice nigga couldn't walk into a room and everybody was shook that the nice nigga just showed up. It was like mm-hmm. a killer. Walking in and everybody, no one else had a gun but him. There was mm-hmm. never, there's never, I don't care what era we talk about, snapping, whatever it was, laughing, all, all, every era, there's been a dude who everybody knew was nice. And if you said, yo, this dude is going crazy on the charts, a word, he sound like Jay, I, I ain't, ain't saying you're all that. I'm just saying it. Mm-hmm. It's always, there's mm-hmm. never, so I, I don't, I've never, check for that philosophy ever. Mm-hmm. There's always been a time when there was a nice nigga who was nice mm-hmm. and the nicest dude got the respect and got the love. I don't care if you're talking about J. Yeah. Cole, J. Nas, mm-hmm. Biggie, Eminem, Red Man, Method Man. There's always been a lyrical dude in the mix who people had to contend but, with. But at, yeah, some, but, it's like, but at some point, it was getting blocked. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Because I, I remember going to meetings. How? How? Show me, I, hold on, show hold, me. Show I can tell you right now. Give me the error. I can tell you right now. I had a meeting with uh, Kawan Pranther. Salute. I'm when he was the head of A&R of, um, it's not Columbia. is it Columbia? I can't remember. Played in my shit. Nigga looked at me and said, all you New York niggas is nice. Mm-hmm. What else you got? I'm like, it's my real life, though. My real shit. I mean, it's nice, though, but this is my real life. You what know year what I mean? was like, that? 
This was 2003. Man, we you know they blocked this shit. We can't say this shit wasn't blocked. They did. You can't, they, yeah, you can't say it was a block because it just stopped. Mm -hmm. At just one stopped. point, it just stopped. But bro. there was the. My point is, there's always been somebody who got through. It's it, always 2003. Besides, besides Benny, Conway, Westside. But they're the ones. There was no new guys that emerged from but, New York. But they're the within ones. Within the past. That's my point. They're the 12, ones. 15 years. Especially with they sound. Okay. Especially with they sound. But, but they're, they're the, the ones. ones. This shit used to be the lifeblood. This is what and, I'm saying. And, and, due to, and, due to, and due to them turning their back on it, abandoning the genre, that's what I feel like, mm -hmm. it died. I'm saying it, 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 it died. It wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't an abandonment. It was, let me, let me, let me concede a point. Let me concede a point. Mm -hmm. They didn't abandon lyrical hip hop. They ushered it away because the masses were ready for dumbed down, more dumbed down material. They was only ready for dumbed down material because they kept pushing it on us. Mm -hmm. that, no, no, that's, that's, that's the ready. point. That's, that's the reason they did that. Champ, that's my Yo, that entire point. That shit is real, it's bro. When they that, shoved that shit, no freaky down your throat. No free. Nah. Putting all this marketing and advertising dollars and shit, my nigga, come on. But that's but, but, my you point. You can't go that, nowhere without hearing this but shit. That, but, but then there's a, there's, the a deeper, there's a deeper reason for it. If you, like, I'm talking about what, what, what happened in the labels, but as far as outside of that, you know, the niggas was going good. Niggas was getting locked up, hit with the Rico. Ah, da, da, da. There was no money to push these niggas no more. The South had the bread. They was coming up here like, yo. And once, and once one label shit. went in with it, they all chasing shit. the shit. Um, they all chasing the shit. Because they see they're going somebody after else what works. It. They, they, exactly. They're going after what works. And that's how we got to end up with a gang full of lils. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I don't got no problem with the lils. I'm actually inspired off them niggas. Because, like I said, I had to do, I got to rap 10 times better than these niggas that make 10 times less. I'm impressed about what the fuck they do. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, like, what the fuck? I get it. Yeah. And, you know, they feeding their families and, and, you know, their moms good, their kids good. But it's like, I don't care about that. It's like, man, you can't forget about this shit. You cannot, because this the is cold. the lifeblood of the shit, man. The cold. It was. It, it was never about. It was never about who was the nicest. It was never. I mean, it was never about who who had the most money, who this and that. It was always about who who was the nicest. That's how I got here. I, I tell this all the time. I say this all the time. One of my first videos, right? With Bono at my nigga Bono in this shit, right? Mm -hmm. Shot the Bono? shit. In, shot the shit in the storage unit. And they don't go. They don't go below. They don't go below. My, you know I'm saying, cause the shit I got on really don't match. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But <laughs> yeah. you had some purple jeans, nigga. Man, I had on some G stars, but I I wasn't comfortable with what I had on. You right. know what I'm saying. And the video did numbers, mm -hmm. so it's like in, in this lane you don't need none of that shit. Mm -hmm. That other lane you gotta go put the chain on. You gotta go get the feature with with the lit nigga. This lane you don't gotta do none of that shit. Right. Mm -hmm. But you don't think you don't think technology has a lot to do with that? As far as as far as Let's say with Griselda. Oh yeah, right? a lot. Why we back? Why, why shit like this came around? Right. Got to. Y'all was yeah. able to establish. They was able to establish a grassroots foundation as far as music and real true hip hoppers. Mm -hmm. Coming right? from people not being able to cut you off. shifted. Coming from people not do not not being able to find this shit. Right. Now they got That's, a dick. We right. got it right here. Y'all filled the huge. void in the market. That really helped niggas out by them That's abandoning huge. that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's huge. Yeah. The fact that it was happening where it was happening that counts. There are right, right. multiple factors. It's never just one thing. Multiple factors, right? It's, yeah. it's never just one I, I believe, thing. I believe being from Buffalo helped us a lot, too. Because it's like, I was mm. telling the homies this, it's not territorial. Down here, it get territorial like a motherfucker in the boroughs. <laughs> like, we from Buffalo. We not from here. We not from there. So it's mm -hmm. like, it, niggas didn't feel like they was choosing sides by fucking with us. Right. And I'm saying? We, we was out of town, niggas. So we fuck with everybody. I, I pull up to this and I be in all, I be in every borough when I when I come through. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, but it, it's territorial to niggas. Niggas ain't doing that shit. So, it, it wasn't that maybe it wasn't that type of room for a nigga from Brooklyn because you know what I'm saying certain niggas don't want to fuck with them. They fucking with us with a blind ear and a blind eye because like we from out of town. You know what I'm saying? You're we not the threat to the exactly. Their we the out of right. town niggas. It's, yeah. Drake it's like the locks with Yonkers. No real shit. Real like shit. Yeah. Locks and Yonkers. I'm gonna tell y'all something, right? So you know I'm saying, you know, they from over there. Y'all know, y'all niggas be acting like y'all yeah. fuck with Staten Island. Nah, <laughs> no, no, Staten Island. Not, not me. Love nah, me. niggas fuck with the woo, boy. Not, not in a body. <laughs> it's not like that. Big boy. Okay, That's okay, the big okay. boy. Yeah, it was. Right. Or, there was a while when Staten Island was like, you should get shit. Nah, but listen, check it, right? You look at. I take 38 Special as an example. When I was locked up on my first bit, I was listening to 38 Special. 2003, 2002. What? Up North mixtapes. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> the cassette tape. Nick, whoever was upstate was bootlegging the shit and getting it due to the jails. And everybody used to talk about 38 Special in the jails. This 2002, 2003, bro. I never told you. <laughs> I never told you because it never came up in conversation. <laughs> and I, I ain't going to front. When I first see 38 Special, I was kind of starstruck. I'm like, yo, this nigga, we was talking about this nigga in jail. This nigga sitting right here on shit. Now Matter of fact, I, no, I met him before that on um, Benny shit. Now I but know why you was in the booth singing with your eyes keep running and in and in and out. Out. And I, put, <laughs> I put him on a record with 38. He was in the booth like, nah, I was a fan. I'm, I'm a fan of 38. I was like, I'm saying that to say this, right? <laughs> Fuck out of here. I'm saying I had to say this, 38 started at an early point right? when you had 50 Cent and all of these niggas fucking blowing up, but he stayed true to the roots, right. the grassroots. Like he, like he knew, all right, niggas in jail fuck with my shit, niggas in my town fuck with mm-hmm. my shit, it's going to go somewhere one day. I'm just going to keep at it. Mm. I'm going to keep at it. And then that grassroots just kept following him. So I'm, I didn't even know that you were signing him yep, yep. prior. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like how everything is coming up now. Benny come up, now Spech come up, now whoever else out in Buff come up in Rochester, and Syracuse, and Utica, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because they paving the way for that shit. Mm. But it started a long time ago. You get the key to your city yet? No, I, they tried to give it to me, I turned it down. Why? He tried to get, he tried to give it to me at a, at a time where I was going for the, I was endorsing the other mayor. He was the current mayor. Mm. So he wanted to give it to me. Like in my hood and everything, so they wanted to pay me. They wanted to pay me to perform and shit. So I wanted the money. So I'm like, if I if I perform, if I do this shit, do that mean I'm endorsing y'all? They are like, yeah. I'm like, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Oh, yeah. Why you just do it and then, and go, then go to the, the other band? Yeah. Like, they got the key. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that to the to, to the uh, to the lady who was running. I'm Did saying, she win? No, she didn't win. Uh, man, shout out India Walton, man. We we gonna be back again for another race, man. Uh, I would have took the key mm. and gave it to I her. Took the, <laughs> I would have gave it to the candidate I'm endorsing. The damage would have been done. They would have invited people there, told him I was his man. He would have told the whole city, this is my man. <laughs> 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 yeah. Make the post. Tell him you're going to be there. I'd have to do the post for, to get the back end. Mm-hmm. Damage would have been With done, man. But, but you get no type of calls now. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm so. I'm, I'm, I, I think I'm Republican now. Did not see that coming. <laughs> Did not see that Yo, coming. listen, man. If it ain't about the money. <laughs> it is what it is. Nah, you, you know, it's, just, it's just when you get you start noticing certain shit like not oh, real shit. Tax breaks? Mm-hmm. Oh, Republicans. Tax uh, breaks. And we need, you know, Republicans carry it different. We need yeah. niggas who carry it different. We need we need it like when it's a threat pose, we need we need a we need a nigga with a gun on him. You know what I'm saying? And, and Donald Trump, he gonna keep that gun on him. Republicans, yeah. they gonna keep that gun on him. We don't need niggas. Being passive in the media when it's to me like when it's when there's shit going on. We need we need you know Trump would get on the get on the internet or get on the news channel and say like I wish they would do some shit like we gonna we gonna respond with ten times as much as power like right. they need to hear that over there. Me as an American citizen, I need to hear that when I wake up and make my bowl <laughs> yeah, of cereal. Right. I need to feel I need like, to watch yo, that shit. Like, yeah, exactly. Oh, nah, good, <laughs> I need good. to hear that. I need we're to hear gonna, that. We're gonna hit the mix with some shit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Facts. Mm-hmm. Uh, Who inspired what, Benny the Butcher? And uh, one of and one of my records, I said Benny the Butcher Dog. Really, I'm cooking raw, and and then the fans just that shit just stuck. Fans was calling me the Butcher, calling me the Butcher. So when I dropped my first shit with Griselda, yeah. I dropped it as Benny, and then nobody couldn't find it. They was looking for Benny the Butcher, so I had to change my name under DSPs as Benny the Butcher. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. really, it was just Benny. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who, inspi- who inspired you? Who inspired you? Who inspired me? Yeah, shit, Benny. Mm-hmm. I gotta say, I gotta say. Hove, I gotta say my mom, I gotta say this Emery too, you know, just being locked up with E, just seeing where he mm-hmm. at right now and how he moving. Right. I'm saying that shit just crazy. Uh Rick James, uh motherfucking just Rick man, James, man, y'all man. niggas, man. Any any anybody who takes something, ain't take nothing to make something with that shit. Right. That's the most beautifulest thing in the fucking world. world. Tell them that story about how you met Emery. Oh, Emery? Yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. You know, Emery was in a mess hall. I'm, you know, I'm serving. I'm, I'm the server in a mess hall. <laughs> and then they tell, they, they, you know, he coming through the line. He's like, you know, that's whole man right there. I'm like, damn, that's whole man. Hit the nigga with the rice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> extra <laughs> school. Nigga, extra nigga, school. Nigga asked for some more of that shit. I'm like, oh, that nigga, that nigga want extra rice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this shit crazy. <laughs> I know that nigga got wild extra rice. <laughs> that's <laughs> so <laughs> 
Every and, one. And, and, you know, that extra shit. rice is probably going to turn into a whole feature one day. No, but hopefully, man. Hopefully. I know you're looking for it. Hell yeah, I'm looking for it. But that's what I tell people. He never, he never worked with nobody like at this point of their career where I'm at. Hove only worked with people who, who feel like they proved they proved themselves already. Mm. They got them records, they got them plaques. Or if he if they was proven as an artist, they was on his label. They were signed mm -hmm. to the label. Right. Mm -hmm. He's just not giving niggas features because mm -hmm. he fuck with you. Right. I mean he don't he don't he don't show his love in that type of way. You know what I'm saying? He do it another way. So it's, it's been spoke about. It's been spoke about. You know what what was it like when you met him? Man. What it was uh, what was it like when I met Hov? Was you starstruck? First time. Fuck yeah. First time. Hell yeah, I ain't going this nigga. When I when I signed my Rock Nation contract, nigga, this this whole he just in there. And, and just to think the way I met meet him, I ain't meet him at no show, I ain't meet him passing through like we about to do business. Right. No matter of fact, first time I met him is at his house. Yeah. I'm saying I met him at his house. We went to his house to talk about the contract. Let's talk about how we're gonna do business moving forward. So you had he to just signed an NDA? Mm hmm Yeah, nope, 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 no. Nope. Okay. No, but I left my phone. I didn't even want my phone in that man's house. I'm like, I'm leaving this shit in the whip. What I need my phone for? We talking business. Mm -hmm. But just kicking it like this. He's like, yo, we going to do this. Ah, ah, ah. I'm thinking like, man, this nigga looks serious. You know what I'm saying talking business with this nigga. Talking business with a billionaire. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I was fresh out the projects. You know what I'm saying and that shit was big. That shit inspirational. Like I said, nigga, you, yeah. can do, you can do any motherfucking thing. I mean, nigga locked up with this, with this serving this nigga rice with his, his right hand man. <laughs> right. You know what I mean, and I'm just... You like, I feel like I, I feel Did like you I tell him that story? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, but you know, you know oh. the craziest thing about it? I'm like, yo, you know, I was locked up with your man. He was like, yeah, I know. I'm like, damn, you know. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, oh, know my body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But, so when you looked at the Rock Nation contract, was you like, you know, I gave your man some extra rice. So. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mean, mean I'm one of y'all niggas. I'm hey, Niggas with rice, man. <laughs> but it was just, man, man think about Hov, man. He, 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 who he say he is. Him and Snoop, they remind me, they remind me of each other. Mm. But he, he, who he say he is. Uh, mm. We had, we had a bunch of conversations. He told me things that I didn't want to hear. He told me things that I did want to hear. Just, just all around game. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. so. Was he brutally honest? I, f I feel like, yeah, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. But I had to think for a minute because I'm a nigga, you know, I'm a grown man. If if you gotta if you gotta tell me like if you gotta tell me something like, I probably already know. Mm. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I probably already know. So it wasn't he just he just spoke on the obvious. Reiterated. So what right what didn't you want to hear? You gotta make more records for women. No, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. I'm telling you, they, they ain't gonna do it. They ain't gonna do it. Uh, he basically just telling me, uh, well, shit, honestly, nobody never, I, I'm gonna say a whole bunch of shit don't hear that that I never said nowhere, but basically, uh, trying to, trying to keep Griselda together. I'm saying, not saying that. Not, not saying that we was leaving, but he knew niggas' contracts was up. And before that, he had a, me and him had a three-hour conversation before. He was asking me my plans. He was like, okay, I'm going I'm to I'm bust this move. I'm going to see what we could do. I'm saying he went back. We all kicked it. I mean, like I said, but it, 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 didn't, it didn't just ain't go that way. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. It just ain't go that way. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But he was telling niggas like, man. But what I was saying, well, that's, that's what I tell everybody. Just because I'm not signed to Griselda, I, I'm, I'm big Griselda. I mean, just because we're not signed. Mm -hmm. right. And I explained that to him. He was like, man, people are going to interpret it different. Mm -hmm. I, I, never, I never told nobody until right now. You never heard me speak on not being signed to Griselda. I never spoke on that until right. So you mm -hmm. threw it out there. You know what I'm saying? I never spoke on that because I'm going to always say Griselda. I'm going to always rep that shit. That shit was a crazy time in my life. Still right now. I just remember like the... The pursuing just to this shit. That was the mm -hmm. illest shit ever. You know so what, what was the imprint that you was under the whole time you was running with it? No, no, I, I was I was under Griselda. I was signed. I just wasn't signed to Shady. I delivered four albums to West. I resigned my contract. So for me to be signed to Griselda again, that would have been me signing a third time. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like I, I, I signed, 
gave my obligations and resigned, gave my obligations. Then I did what I did. You know what I'm saying? Mm, right. So I don't want to make it. People think like, man, them yeah. niggas was so eager to leave. I have no. I, I put it in. I, I I did what I had to do. And a lot of people ask like, yo, so why why are you over here and Wes over here and Conway over there? I'm like, shit, it worked. The best case scenario happened. We successful. Mm. If I was still, if we were still, I was still on them niggas show bill. I, if I wasn't on my own tour yet, then, then, then I'm saying like, it's some bullshit that went on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying so mm-hmm. the best case scenario happened, so niggas spreading their wings. Right? When, when did you first notice like y'all growing in different directions? Or did you? Did you grow in different directions? Uh, nah, that should be obvious sometimes. Bro. I mean, I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, 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 just like, just like he's, just like he said, it's, it's obvious. So I feel like we did go in different directions from the fans' point of view, but realistically. We never been a group. I, I see. I said that on a different interview. Fans like, man, that's surprising. We never been a group. We never been a group. That's why when you heard of Con- West Side and Conway, that's what you heard. You heard West Side Gun and Conway. It wasn't no group. It was mm-hmm. Griselda Records. Then when I came along, instead of putting my name on the marquee, it was really Griselda Records. Instead mm-hmm. of saying West Side Gun Conway, it's, it's I'm saying Griselda yeah, Records. Fans kind of took that. The fans is like, oh, they group. group. But mm-hmm. only only project that we have all together is what was Sheen Gun's. What was Sheen Gun do? They got Hall and Nash. <laughs> That's together, but all them projects, those are West Side Gun albums I'm featuring on. Those are Conway albums I'm featuring on. We never, ever said we was a group. Them boys never been a group. But I, So I don't feel like it's been, we going in our separate directions. I feel like we working. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't run with them niggas. I can't, I can't be at these niggas shows all the time. I'm working on my shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I got my own artists. I'm running my merch business. So you know how, though, know how that shit go. Just time consuming. It ain't there no more. Well, sometimes it, it, it takes years before fans even realize like certain uh, situations or uh, they might have been friction here, like you know, Meth Ray, um, mm. certain members in the clan had outcast prior mm. history and all that stuff. You mm. you don't find that out till later, mm. but it did for one second seem apparent that Conway and West wasn't getting along. Mm-hmm. What was that about? Uh, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't know what it's about, cause I'm 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 in a loop with both of them niggas, mm-hmm. and when I when I, and when I when and, and whenever that was going on, you know I know they was talking. Mm-hmm. Same thing, you know what I'm saying? I, I call they checking them niggas with each other, but this is what I want to say. That's to the world. Remind you that like, these are my cousins. Right, man. That, that ain't the first time. It won't be the last. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So people looking at these niggas as brothers. So people looking at it like yo Conway, Conway, like. These is these is niggas is brothers. You don't think them niggas ain't never was doing what they was doing, made it look mm-hmm. like that. And, and to be honest with you, these are my older cousins. So mm-hmm. I'm not in them niggas' business on some G shit. I'm I might not be in a position to call them niggas like, man, what y'all I mean, yeah. niggas big homies. Mm-hmm. You know what but I'm saying? You get those questions. Or at the at that time. Yeah, I, I would questions. yeah, I would get the questions, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Cause I do more interviews than them niggas. Right. So mm-hmm. people would be asking me about that shit. You know what I mean, but I just feel, you know, that's that's who Conway been. That's what Conway always been. Uh, a recluse, especially after uh, taking them shots. You just, you just always been like that. You know what I'm saying? But them boys ain't, them boys ain't, you see them niggas are together in Paris. I wasn't there. I'm like, fuck them niggas ain't called me for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck yeah, going yeah. on? <laughs> but trust me, it was, it's never nothing where niggas ain't doing business, niggas ain't getting money, niggas ain't at each other's crib. Mm-hmm. It, it could never be like that. <laughs> fuck no, it could never be like that. So Hov's thing to you was the perception is gonna look like y'all, yeah. y- y'all are on the outs with each other. Yeah, yeah. That's that's why I never wanted to say like, yo, I, I signed nah, I Def Jam. I'm not on Griselda because people are like, yo, uh, nah, I no get people it. People want to say shit. As it, as it come, you know, if, you know, all three of y'all together mm-hmm. probably would have got, or in his, you know, in somebody else's mind, y'all would have got a bigger bag mm-hmm. for y'all situation mm-hmm. rather than separately. Right, 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 right. Is that what Hope was pointing at? I think, I think, but realistically, literally, literally mm-hmm. you know, like I said, the way the deals are structured right now, like, you know, we, we in talks right now doing a What Was She Gonna Do 2 album. It don't matter, you know what I'm saying, where I'm at, where he at, you know what I'm saying, that, that shit still, it still could happen. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's still gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it just ain't happen that way where everything is under one roof. I just feel like the communication was crossed. I feel like the meaning, meaning, meaning with the meaning with 
the labels who was trying to do that, because the labels was trying to do that, in between us. Mm. Uh, what you mean? Like split mm. y'all up? It's, 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 it's like this. Mm. It's like this. A nigga, a nigga might come to West and he be, and he be talking to West about doing a Benny contract. And that's all fine and dandy, but you got to tap it with me too. You got to see where I'm at. Mm-hmm. Now, my, like I said, I'm dealing with transparency. I'm, I'm not, I'm not liar Cohen. I'm not Dane Dash. I'm, I'm learning as I go. Mm-hmm. So I'm, re, I'm going off body language. I'm going off transparency. Mm-hmm. So when niggas, it, it, it was, it was, it was labels who was in talk to sign me, pulling up to shows, not even speaking to me. Hmm. You know what mm. I mean? And I'm like. Hmm. X them <laughs> niggas off the list. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I need transparency. I need a nigga to look me in my eye and tell me, like, yo, this is how we doing it. Da, 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 da. That, that, that's just what I need. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm an independent artist. I'm used to doing everything myself. So I'm going to need a certain level of transparency. And even if and even if we a team, and if you got the transparency with y'all but not me, it, it, it's a deal breaker. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And I'm not, and I'm not saying, and I'm not saying, and I'm not saying. Hove or nothing like that. I think that was a situation with me and Ghazi. I feel like he didn't want to disrespect Wes by talking business business with me. Like he always kind of like kind of talk light business with me when he when he talk because right. he ain't want to disrespect Wes because right. he came through. Him. That's what I feel. He never said this, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. but I know he do all Griselda business. Mm-hmm. You know Conway over there. Wes still distrib- distributing over there. I'm not because I kind of feel like he he didn't know how to. You know what I mean? He didn't know how to. Really kick it with me, you know right. what I'm saying? And just tell me, like, yo, you know what? Ah, uh-uh. you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, by the time I had a foot in the door, he was really telling me, like, yo, what you want? We can do it, like, ah, uh-uh. But I'm thinking, like, damn, I'm already over here talking to these people. Nigga done met Snoop. I'm gonna turn Snoop down. I'm turn Snoop down now. <laughs> exactly, real. Damn. Shit. But shout damn. out to Ghazi, man. The nigga done built, nigga done built everything over there. And, yeah, I love what they're doing over there. Man, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of people, in a smart way, is trying to, like, Double down on on his formula, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. what he got going on. So shout out, shout out to Gazi. They was a they was a Gazi, and it was the first ones to get you on JP, right? That, that's a fact. That's yeah. a fact. With and Nima, talk three and, and all Nima that too. Wheeler. And Nima, them, them, them dudes is demons over there. Mm. Those dudes is demons over there. And and that's what he always told me. It's like I want to I want to I wanna get you in inside the system instead of just dropping it. You know, I, mm. I dropped the Tanner Talk three project with Gazi, yeah. and then I dropped some shit on my own. I went back and uh, dropped the fucking uh, Bird and the Plugs mm-hmm. with Gazi, and then I went back and, and I dropped some shit with, 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 with somebody else. And you then I went the and then I went back Tanner Talk Four, right. and now I'm about to go to Dev Jam. So that's what Gazi was like. No, just come, let's just drop three straight projects mm-hmm. in a row. But I kind of feel like by the time that was articulated with me, mm-hmm. I kind of had people I was doing that with already. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So like I said, no disrespect to Gazi, he that nigga, but. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I just think he just should have just just told me, like, nigga, what you doing? Like, kind of been like more straightforward with me. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's tough because you, you don't want to cross lines. That's, that's what I said it was. Yeah, you don't want to Like I said, he never, you know, Gazi is a stand up guy. He never even, he never said this to me before, mm-hmm. but me mm-hmm. watching, I'm like, that's probably what I was because he thorough, he didn't want to disrespect Wes. He ain't probably didn't know how far he could go with offering nothing to mm-hmm. me, or, you know what I'm saying? So I get You it. never want to be seen as the guy who's going behind somebody else to, to do, like, but but talk, but, but were these were these offers exactly. being presented to Wes? Mm, I don't think so. At all. I don't think so. Good looking. Cause man, that's that's the way the Griselda shit was made. That's the way the Griselda shit was built. You know, niggas, niggas basically just doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? But he but he knew I was under the imprint, and at the end of the day, it it had to get oversaw by Wes. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, but any any label meeting I was in. It was it was it was a label meeting that I brought West to that I brought, you know what I'm saying? I'm yo West, I got a meeting at uh, such and such, or I got a meeting here. It went good. Yo, I got a meeting here. You can make it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying I remember like the first time, the first time I was in 2018. Uh, Steve Rifkin, you know what I'm saying I'm out there. He wanted to holler at me. I brought West. You know I'm saying like yo, come over to Steve Rifkin house. We in the Beverly Hills at Steve Rifkin house when his leg fucked up. We in his bedroom. He just laying down with his leg elevated and shit. But just inviting West. I'm just I'm just working. He know I'm a dog. So, you know what I mean? So, so that's what I'm going on. I'm kicking it with guys. He's like, yo, we could talk freely. You know what I'm saying? But he probably like, I don't know, man. It, it, it just makes it. You, you, you I be, get it. I, man. I, I, I personally would be uncomfortable in that situation talking to you without. I wouldn't want to make it seem like I'm going behind somebody's back to mm-hmm. have a conversation. 
Like mm-hmm. just grown men, everybody's grown, everybody can make their own decisions. Mm-hmm. However, I wouldn't want to be seen as the the evil exec guy who's sneaking mm-hmm. around behind to have a secret conversation and I I, I wouldn't want to do that. Not Perception yet, yeah. becomes reality. What what's your what's your line? Uncheck uh, lie. Becomes the truth. Uncheck lie becomes the truth. You just it shit. look and that's which which is what I'm hearing Hove talk to you about is the way it's gonna look. Mm-hmm. The way it's gonna look. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The way it's gonna look. People are way more concerned with how something looks than how something actually is. That's a fact, real shit. Which is a fucking shame. That's what they say perception is truth. Yeah. A lot of times. Which is super stupid. Mm -hmm. Super stupid. But Mm -hmm. too many people make decisions based on what it appears to be versus Mm -hmm. what I can tell an artist if you do this, 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 and this, you're gonna blow up. And they'll see the first three things and they'll be like, nah, because I got to look broke while I'm doing these three things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but if you do them, these last two is going to be lit. They'll never make it past the first three mm-hmm. because it looks crazy. What's the what's the three broke things? Could, could be... Could, if I told you... if I told you, Hand out your CD on 42nd Street. Could be. <laughs> but if I told you it was part of a promotional thing and I got cameras and I know exactly what I'm going to do with this footage, all you got to do is stand there Hand out DC. It could be that. Yeah. And then as soon as we get to the third time you do it, I'm going to have a billboard of you with that same photo flash over your head. All you got to do is hold down these three things. Most mm-hmm. dudes' pride wouldn't let them, the perception mm-hmm. wouldn't let them make it to the third thing. Yeah. And that perception really looks crazy. So as an exec, as an a and I wouldn't want to have a conversation outside of mm-hmm. your base. I wouldn't want to talk to somebody behind their back. And then turn around and risk them saying, yo, you was trying to talk to... Right. But that's what makes the Griselda just, just so different and it's that we was conducting business like that. Like, I, I know what Conway did his own shit over there. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? It's, we conducted out, like, you see how, how I did with Snoop, you know what I'm saying? Like, people mm-hmm. was working on that deal, but me and Snoop got it to the finish line. So, you know what I mean? That's what, and, and like I said, when I, I, mean, I meant to say that. I, I brought Wes to all the meetings because, you know, that, that wasn't his thing. He was never going to call a meeting about what I'm saying, maybe about me. He, he'd bring up my name and let him know, but, you know, he, because he a nigga, like, you, he underground, he probably, he probably, he a nigga, well, not probably, I'm pretty sure he probably felt like a nigga didn't need to do the Def Jam shit, so he probably, like, they probably hit, hit him about me, he probably like, nah, just stay like this, just stay like this. Mm. 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 But you felt different. Uh, what did I feel differently? But you felt different. Yeah, hell yeah, I feel differently. I feel differently. I seen, I seen what doing that major situation did for Griselda. You got to think we 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 was at Shady and allowed to work in the underground. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So just just to give it the glossy effect, mm-hmm. to shine a light on niggas like Fuego. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? To shine on shine a light on my niggas. I'm I'm trying to buy. I, I'm really trying to buy buy years in this shit. Just just build my brand up. You know, we doing movies over at Swirl. Uh, doing a soundtrack, just doing a whole bunch of shit. I got the sports firm. I just signed my first NBA player. You know what I mean? So, That's what's up. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Glossing over that. Yes, yes, I yes. Got the sports firm at the sound. Nonchalantly, though. How, how, how does that work? Uh, basically, just just by doing business in a, in, a, in a game and being close to the sport, mm-hmm. and getting close to the sport, realize I, how close I am to the players and these players. You know, the, the new shit with the NILs and with the college players and shit. Mm-hmm. You know, these players is hustlers. I remember this This will really have me make my mind up. The Buffalo Bills, man. It was It was like, you know, these dudes doing good. They get paid good and, and, and the guy had some tickets and he wanted to sell the tickets. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to sell the tickets maybe like for three, five hundred dollars. And you think like a millionaire doing like a three hundred, five hundred dollar transaction. It was like, I, I know I can get a whole bunch of plays where I could bring these dudes. 20 bands, 30 bands, 10 bands here. And if they open to it, shit, let me work, let me cook. And they open to it, you know what I'm saying? The nigga mm-hmm. cooking, because a lot of times, the big agents don't give a fuck about how these dudes make money off the field or off the court, right. you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So, you know, if you if you bring a nigga five, 10,000, 20,000, you know, that's a bill, niggas got bills. You know what I'm saying? You know how to do, sometimes right. you might, if you, if you work a nine to five, you know you gotta do that double, because you know, like, that's the light bill. You know what I'm saying? Right. Sometimes with me, right. if I got if I'm gonna do a feature with a nigga, I'm like, damn, I gotta do the feature with this nigga. I'm gonna pay these rents with this with this money. So these niggas gotta know where this money coming from during the off season, all type of shit. So I mean, mm-hmm. has got to it. 
All my right, boy, so. let me say this, my boy Tony De Niro. Shout uh, out to Tony. Shout out my boy Tony De Niro. Uh, he like the creative director and a whole bunch of shit for Black Soprano family. Uh, ain't no, there's nobody, I'm saying, I, I, it was a Zoom call today about it. I, I might be speaking prematurely, but I know it's going down. There's no NFL player signed to Monster. No NFL player except Gronk. And he don't play no more. Mm. Get the fuck out of here. No. The firm, the big sports firm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's about to get that done. You know what I'm saying? So mm. anything can fucking happen. You right. know what I'm saying? Shout out to you for that, anything homie. Anything can happen. Yeah, That's crazy. Salute, bro. That, yeah. Yeah. Word. 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 Historic. No, that's dope. You gotta do business, baby. Right. You gotta do business. Now, oh, wow. Man. So, so you're responsible for... Are you, are you an acting agent mm -hmm. for this player, or? Uh, I'm not an agent. I'm not an agent. Uh, I work. I work more on a. I'm, I work more on a uh, nil side, where where I'm freely, where I could, I'm saying, do shit freely. But mm -hmm. like, fire as an agent mm -hmm. and discussing contracts, I have agents. You know what I'm saying. You know what nil means? No. You know no. what nil? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, when these young niggas getting a deal with the college players, they can they can they can they can make money off their name right. and licensing mm -hmm. name, mm -hmm. and, name name license. and light mm -hmm. name license. Okay, you know what I'm saying right. so they can get money. This is just how uh, that girl Angel Reese about to get a lot of money. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure she get money. I went to her page. She doing Jan Sport commercials, all type of shit. Right. It's like it's like a it's like a flood. You know, I'm from a hood. Even if even if Jan Sport don't give and they don't give a nigga the money, I know a nigga who got a barbecue spot. Pull up, mm. eat a few ribs, and this thing gonna cash you out. You know what I'm saying? Just real right. shit. Uh, just, just, just aligning myself with different brands. Now this, you know this is this is my ignorance when it comes to sports. So I'm asking a question. Mm -hmm. I was under the impression that college athletes specifically were not allowed to make money outside. They couldn't have jobs. They couldn't do this. They couldn't do that. When did this switch over? About to two years ago, right? Mm -hmm. About two years ago. Two mm -hmm. years, okay. Mm -hmm. Two years ago. It's fresh. It's fresh. Yeah. That's why it's going crazy right now. Yeah, that that's why sense. it's a thing right now. That makes and, sense. And, and it, it, this, this is something LeBron was fighting for. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. No, because I, I saw the story. I don't know what NIL stands for, but I saw the story where they were talking about, um, you know, people were basically monetizing their Instagram following, and their Instagram following had companies coming to them mm -hmm. to do X, Y, Z, A, B, and C. But I had no idea. I was like, are they not in college anymore? Is this a deal set up for after they graduate and after they leave? Or is it's, this happening in real time? It's happening in real time. And it's a lot of yellow tape around it. That's why you got to be careful how you do it. That's why I'm not an agent. You know what I'm saying? You got to have... Uh, you got to have... Don't you uh, have to have a degree to be an agent? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. You got to have a certain... You got to have a, a license. You got to take a certain test. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I'm, I'm partnered. I'm partnered with agents. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So where... Is I can't discuss contracts, but I could send an agent in there, you know what I'm saying, or representing his company and my company. But I could speak very freely on, on um, like, uh, if I want to bring a, a brand to an athlete, you know what I'm saying? So management. <clears throat> Basically. Management. Basically. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Sports management. Sports management, definitely. You, you bring the deals to the table, you get a percentage, but you, you introduce them to bigger brands. Exactly. Sports management. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Makes, you know what I'm saying? Help, help, bring them, help, help bring their shit to life. And what mm -hmm. it's about with us, we want to cross brand. We want to make no mistake. Like, you, we don't, you know how some people might not want to run it in the ground. Like, you know, this, this company is ran by rappers and shit like that. Well, no, we want to run that shit in the ground. You know what I'm saying? We, we want to make that a thing. We want to, we want to cross brand. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Get, bring niggas in the culture. You know what I'm saying? I, right. I, be, on, I be on ESPN talking to, talking to niggas more than some athletes. Mm -hmm. It's time to bring them niggas on there. You know what I'm saying? Who want to get the opportunity? And just show our relationship, you know what I'm saying? Um, you, no one will ever forget the way Jada and Allen Iverson shit went crazy in that Reebok. Man, concert. that's man, that's mm -hmm. they they need the yeah. fucking Glorilla and Angel Reese commercial. I'm going back to that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's for real. Mm -hmm. You know, come on, what's gonna happen? Like they 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 making it rocket science over there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, nigga, we, we when we watch that commercial, we you couldn't turn shit back. At that point in time, but when we watched that commercial, that was some of the illest shit you ever seen in your life. Mm -hmm. You got Kiss and AI, they fucked us up with that. Going in, they fucked us up with that. And the, and the, right. and the beat was a sample of him exactly. dribbling. And yeah. That was nuts. And the Fire. sneaker Fire. screeching. Oh Fire. god, that was crazy. Fire. That shit was amazing. Uh. That shit was amazing. Shit like that made me right. 
happy to be a hip hop head. Energy. That energy need to be recreated, man. What Real you waiting shit. for? I'm about to see. I just signed him. This is nigga. I made my nigga Thomas <laughs> Bryant. I just signed my nigga. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Thomas Bryant played for the uh, Denver Nuggets. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying he's from Rochester. So oh, like, what's up? You do, you doing anything with anybody from the NFL? Because I see you heavily fucking yeah. with the Bills. Oh uh, yeah, we fuck with Dion, man. We 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 fuck with a couple a couple people, but with the like we fuck with a couple people who are not directly signed, but we still busting bags. You right. know what I'm saying? It's like niggas giving you opportunities. Like yo, if I if I got this situation, I bring your name with it. Like go ahead. You heavy in the football, right? Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah I saw a bunch of niggas tackle Freddie Gibbs. That shit was crazy. <laughs> Man. And we're on back. Break. Is this the part where we take a break? Take a five minute break. What the hell is going on here? Yeah. All right, so then when we leave off, oh yeah, he's tackling Fre- Freddie Gibbs. Um, <laughs> these situations, I always, I always wonder. Like, it starts off on track, right? Mm, I, 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 don't, I don't even think it started on the song. I think it, it started on Twitter. On Twitter. All right. I was like, I'm gonna, <laughs> what the fuck? When he put some shit, what the fuck he put? Uh, he put some shit like what? Because uh, there's it, it's two posts that he put up. Well, there's one he made that nobody even noticed because nobody noticed until I said something about it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. And he was acting you on these? No, he wasn't. He wasn't. That's why I never said nothing about it. Mm. He just he just said something about I think he said something about what happened in Houston first, or yeah, it was about the Houston shit. Mm. He said something about what happened in Houston. Like you know, I was kind of took in the back. I fucked with bro, so that shit fucked me up. Mm. That's why I like it, but it wasn't. I never said nothing about it, so mm-hmm. nobody else never said nothing about it. Right. Uh, does, it get, does it get tricky with like uh, like certain artists you might work with them, do a song with them, respect them lyrically or whatever, and then um, like the Houston situation, you go through that, and then all of a sudden people are making comments, and some of the comments are not favorable or respecting the relationship or rapport that you thought mm-hmm. y'all had together. Do you take that personal? I don't. <clears throat> I don't take it personal. Uh, to, to be honest with you, it was it was it was a surprise, but it was like, and nigga ain't take it personal after that. Like I don't, obviously I don't know that nigga. Obviously, you know what I'm right. saying? Right. For a nigga be any nigga I fuck with wouldn't be wouldn't be doing that. It's just me. I'm I'm a, I'm a stand up nigga. Like my people people don't really I don't have them type of problems with people. So it's like me. I, I didn't like looking goofy in front of the world. Like niggas, we went on tour together. Yeah, like, and I'm, now we going back and forth like we look goofy over yeah over what you know what I'm saying so right I, I I really hated that part. Did you ever pick up on that type of energy when you was on tour with him? Mm-mm. Not at all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I didn't. We was coming and going. We was kicking it, uh, rocking the tour. <laughs> I ain't see it. What 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 stops the the phone call? Uh. Because I can't put in no phone call. I, I didn't start nothing. You know what I'm saying? So Right. But it, you see something you don't like. What uh-huh. stops you from being like, yo, what up, son? Why, 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 you, why you making them comments, bro? Mm, I don't think I gave a fuck. I don't, well, think, I, I don't think I gave a fuck enough. Benny. No, real shit. It was, it, it's, it's not the homie. It was the homie like, what, what, what bro doing? Like, damn, bro, yeah. what we on? You kidding, no. It's like when I see niggas like, he do that? Say less. Yeah, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, like. If it was somebody who he, he, he nigga show how he felt about me. If I felt like it was something, if I felt it was something ever there, I got a call, bro. I got to see what bro. I'm like, damn, bro. So y'all but, ain't re- y'all ain't really meshed on the tour like that. I, I I I feel like we did, but when you cross those lines, Apparently obviously you didn't. obviously we didn't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously we didn't. So that's what I took it. Well, as. you know, some of these niggas be on drugs, bro. You never know. <laughs> never and know. I'm, I'm not bullshitting. Some of these niggas be Heavy high drugs. and on Twitter. Like if, if I would have felt, fingers. if I would have felt like if it was the homie or some shit like that, definitely a call because that's how that's how those matters are supposed to be handled. Because right. we all know that you know niggas got different type of courage when they on their phone yeah. than whether if you you know what I mean. You say right in here, person, so, right? Yeah, so it's like that's how you want to address it. You don't want to address it on a 
on the social media because now a nigga got to he got to put on a show for everybody. Mm-hmm. Right. So, but I think I took it as that. I'm like, okay, like bro, this nigga don't fuck with me at all. Yeah. And like I said, it was it was an instant. It was two instances. So this was just like, what did he say that? And then it was confirmation after the other one. So it was like, man, this nigga don't fuck with me. Hey, what I'm gonna put in a call about? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Real was shit. you was you like killing them, killing them on tour or something? Man, I, I ain't gonna. I, I'm not even gonna say that. I just feel like I feel like a lot of times, man. If niggas can't get money with you, they gon' they gonna try to. I mean, they gon' they gonna try to spin a narrative of getting getting some type of Freak getting shit. some type of notoriety off you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you can do a song with a nigga. You can make a diss song about a nigga. You can hang with a nigga. You could be on the internet talking about a nigga. You would get the same thing off of it, the same results, the same clicks off of it sometimes. Sometimes you might get more if you're going with the bullshit. Mm. So I just felt, this is what I feel. Like I said, I ain't even put no call on I mean, whatever. But I just felt that it was an opportunity for us to do music together. And I felt like once that wasn't where, where, where it was at, it was like, he felt like, I'm going to do this then. You know, He's he, he a funny guy. He's an entertaining guy. Mm-hmm. I felt he was trying to be entertaining and all that. It just, it just didn't, didn't. It just ain't land. Well, bad bad I, joke. I'm, ass, I'm assuming the reason you, why you took it as a, this ain't something to laugh at, is because of the severity of what happened in Houston. A hundred percent. You know, a nigga was down bad. I mean, they, they was in a real situation. You know, we got a nigga laughing about that on. You got you got a nigga laughing about that or making a joke about it. Right. Somebody who <clears throat> we said we was cool, we told the world we was cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that got to be handled a certain way. And I'm not even talking about what happened. I'm just saying that it got to be handled with like you got you got to know like you 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 did something wrong. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like yeah. you don't do that shit. Consequence. I mean, you yeah. do that shit. We going on tour together. You, you know what I mean? Like yeah, like why, you can't why? possibly fuck with me. Right. A nigga, nigga could have lost his life. Mm-hmm. My mom could have lost her son. A nigga, a nigga making light on that for some white kids on Twitter, some suburban kids on Twitter who ain't gonna do nothing, never did nothing, and 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 even if they funny, even if they thought it was funny, then they don't think the other shit be funny. They don't think the violence funny. Mm. You know what I'm saying they don't think that's funny. Right. Mm-hmm. You know I'm saying so it's like can't put yourself out there for these for these motherfuckers who don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> people be saying like, yo, won't y'all just put it on wax? I'm not making a diss song about this nigga for for people. Entertainment, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, man, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a dumb situation to me. I hate to be even a part of that nigga. SP called me like, yo, Benny, come on. Uh, you know what I mean? It's like, you got to get looked like a nigga's looking at me like I'm like I'm a, like I'm a little nigga going through this shit. Right. In the middle of some shit, niggas know I know better. Yeah. Than, but, but it's like, man. So some people uh, put your weight as far as like the people that you got friction with. They be like. Can't be beefing with, you know, a nigga that, you know. Oh, that, oh, 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 that's 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 a hundred facts. You know what I'm saying? Not even on no, not even on no tough gangster shit, but I know, bro, not. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm not. I don't know what he did in the streets. I just obviously he was he, he, he was in my city, not like moving how he's supposed to move. Like, ain't no way you're gonna be on Twitter talking about me like that in my city like that. I mean, it's like, ain't no way. Well, with, with the years that you've been in this industry, how many people have you come across that you was like, oh, I thought this was different? Or really just that. Just hmm. that. Because anything, you know, you know what? You know what? I definitely learned in the business that people smile on your face. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, to me, I don't, I don't ever take none of that personal because it's almost part of this shit. When I say it's part of the shit, that's what people gonna do. When you on top, people gonna be in your business. When 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 they feel like you're not on top, they gonna run to the other niggas who on top. You know what I'm saying? Or or people fuck with you, they gonna champion you. And then sometimes you kill these niggas so bad that they want somebody else to have your spot, so they gonna go champion other niggas. Right. They put niggas in the name. They they put niggas name in a hat with yours who they know don't belong. Right. They just sick of you or what what you doing. So mm-hmm. when shit like that happen, I don't take it personal. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know, I know what niggas be on, like you know what I mean. But when 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 it's when it, when it, when it, when it, when it's almost looking like it's coming from 
internal, I mean, you know, that's an issue. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's an issue. That's ugly. That's an issue. Sometimes right. when you understand it on the outside, it's something going on inside. Mm-hmm. But it should never, it should never be on social media though. It should never, it should never be on social media. That's the. It, it should. I, I think that's one of the corniest things possible, for two grown men to have an issue. But you, you, and you s- announce it on social media. Is it but form, but is you it say that. Ratting. But you say that. You gotta understand that everybody who has a, a social media platform is in a competition. It's not for. Just keeping in contact with how many people follow you that you don't know? Mm-hmm. This whole room. How many people follow you that you don't know? You mm-hmm. don't know who the fuck this person is. Mm-hmm. They just follow mm-hmm. me and they what it's it's like people they get into this competitive mind state of, you know, my numbers need to be here mm-hmm. and this, then the third. So what can I do to draw more attention That's to myself? Fact. You got <laughs> chicks getting butt naked. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Giving head on live, all types of crazy shit. You got niggas flashing yeah. guns, knowing they in the state where right, right, you're right. not even supposed to have that right. shit. You know what I mean? Like And you got and this is the crazy dynamic of it too. You got niggas like like say nigga like might be like, man, I you know, I like I like Joe Button podcast better. And then y'all niggas like, man, fuck Joe. Man, Joe ain't say nothing. Right. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. right. That's what it be like. These other niggas see like yo. But these other rap niggas see niggas put your name up there. Niggas like that nigga can't fuck with me. Man, that, them niggas ain't this. Them niggas ain't that. It's like, yeah. bro, I didn't. I, t- yeah, them I, niggas I said that, said that shit. Like, yeah, I'm like, just chilling, bro. I really like your shit. Mm-hmm. I like. We need to work together. That's but you, Matt, you and your feelings you. about me because these people, these people championing me on. You feel like mm-hmm. my game is your loss. <laughs> I'm not saying that's the situation with homie. I'm yeah. just saying that you know, it, 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 a lot of that shit going on. You know what I'm saying, niggas. Right. The fans are stirring some shit up, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah, and because of social media, shit don't really get a chance to die. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then y'all could piece it up today, and wake up tomorrow, and the niggas like, yeah, them niggas tossed you up, ah, ah. That's, that's a fact. Nigga, that's a fact. Instead of having the feelings towards mm-hmm. the nigga saying it, he's going to have them feelings towards you again. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Now, that's a true story. But that's how that's how the motherfuckers is, man. The fans ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> they want to see blood. They want to see gore. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. They want to be entertained. You know, they want to take a side. They 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 they, they just want to go against anything. Like like when I got shot, nigga, like man, that nigga Benny a bitch. He called he called that's fucking sad. He called know. the police when he got shot. I'm like I didn't call 911 emergency services. I ain't gonna call a chef. I ain't gonna call a plumber. They got a hole in my head. Who I'm gonna call? My name. Exactly. Who I'm gonna call? I, I can't call the ambulance. Ninety nine percent of the can't people can't call, call the ambulance. You call the ambulance. He's a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 this shit what crazy. Like, is that? He knew they was gonna call the cops. <laughs> like nigga bleeding. Ninety nine percent of people. Fuck him up. Post a call. Niggas died from thing. leg shots. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. Right. Um. That's Damn. so fucking stupid. No, real so shit. Nigga told, me, stupid. nigga told me I was a bitch for calling emergency services. And it's like, you know, <laughs> they the just fuck, you're supposed anything. to sit there and bleed out. That is like, the, yeah, yeah. That's that's the shit stupidest that. shit I've heard all week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, he a real nigga. He bled out. He bled out like a real nigga. You see like him? Real he went out like a real nigga. That nigga's blood was everywhere. That shit was some G shit. His blood was everywhere. Yo, Benny, last year, mm-hmm. I know you was hospitalized. Was that an asthma attack? Yeah, hell yeah, man. My asthma fucked up. Yeah. My shit fucked up. Asthma is something I've been dealing with uh, hey, since I was about six, seven years old, running my family. Get that mm. mullen tea. What's it called? Mullen. Mullen. Mullen tea. Yeah. But it's, M- it's spelled mullion. Mullion. Mullen tea. M U L L E I N. You had to text mullen. that to me. Yeah. Word? Clear, clear your lungs out. M U L L E I N. Yeah. Yeah, right. nigga be fucked up. Yeah. I'd be on tour. It's a lung detox. Yeah. Be on tour. I had to I was in Detroit. Mm-hmm. I had to cancel the Detroit date. Yeah. Nigga laid up in a hospital. Charged me twelve thousand dollar bill. Damn. It's just crazy. That's crazy. Can we schedule that shit? Man, hell yeah. I was in I was in I was in Mexico and had an asthma attack, went to the motherfucking oh, hospital. Okay, okay, okay. It's crazy like a motherfucker, man. Mexico oh. crazy. You been in Mexico? Nah. Mexico crazy. I don't, shit. I don't, I don't, I don't like to go places where English ain't the primary language. <laughs> you gotta stay there. gonna be like, yeah, we're gonna get his organs, his 12,000 for his kidneys now right can't. next to me. And I'm sitting there like. They look at tourists like, yo, they got money. 
No, and they're kidnapping shit. niggas out there now. Now they're kidnapping niggas. Yeah, Mexico. Yeah. They say, See, when I went out there, I was in Cabo. It was about 10 of us. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Mexico City. I'm definitely in a bulletproof truck security when I went to Mexico City. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? They got this one park where everybody could smoke weed at and shit, but you could tell that shit looked treacherous. You could tell it looked crazy. <laughs> scheme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you, it, they say you can't mm -hmm. be careful in Cancun. Um, what's the other one? Well, it's three of them. You gotta be. They told you don't go to. They said United States niggas can't go. Like it was Cancun, it was um, Tulum. Mm. Mm. Damn, Tulum, Tulum be having a nice joint for the most. It's another one. Damn. But they Damn. saying they catch the niggas off the um, resorts. They said like, yo, don't leave the yeah. resorts. Mm. Damn, that's why when I go to Disney, I'm like, yo, I stay in Santiago. Niggas can't. Niggas can't go to DR and peace no more. You can't bring DR up around nah, females. It, it no depends more. on where you at. I'm just saying, I'm don't just saying, we could go, go, I'm saying if the females don't want us to go to DR, <laughs> we, can't, Kana, we can't mention DR around the females no more. You can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You niggas, can't. Niggas, yeah. <laughs> 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 I've never been. I've never right, been. Right, right, right. Uh, right. But niggas got it hot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. Yeah, but they definitely wilding out there in Mexico, though. Saying, don't go. It ain't no different than the Bronx. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I'm in Mexico two, three times a year. Just being honest. Oh, the news be oversaturating that shit though. Yeah, man. they doing oversaturating. Yeah. America probably got beef from Mexico. They probably like, yo, we about to get all the fucking U.S. Uh, tourists to stop going over there, start shutting down some of their travel money because they owe us. Mm. It'd be little shit like that going on. Russia definitely ain't fucking with us though. They they anybody from the US, they lock you up, nigga. What? You recording shit out here? No, they got Life. the they got the reporter nigga from the Wall Street Journal, right? They got yeah, him yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you heard that's they move, they been doing that. Yeah. 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 Putin been snatching niggas just so they could let niggas out. That Britney Griner shit, that nigga been doing that. Yeah. Oh no, we're gonna snatch them because they got such and such over there. Yeah, we're we trying to get them back. Trade. trade. So they snatching anybody up just so they could let Russian niggas out. Yep. Mm -hmm. That shit crazy. Yeah, so yeah, they got a nigga. U.S. Marine they nigga over this. there right now, and they let, what's her name, Brittany Griner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come home in exchange for the arms dealer nigga mm. that was locked up here from Russia in exchange for her, but they still got the U.S. Marine nigga over there. And he been there way longer than Russia mm. detained. Oh. Yeah, man, that's some bullshit. They probably feel like he can handle it. Attention Marines is the new Marines. <laughs> 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 you know how they think, man. Word. Word. That nigga good. They <laughs> we got to make <laughs> some good <laughs> trades, <laughs> though, bro. <laughs> they, we got to make some good trades, man. Yeah, we need a first rounder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> first first round. That's it. Word. Word. We, that. we got to have the draft and shit. Real like. shit. Well, come on, sports agent. Get over there. <laughs> Get your negotiation on. It is. That shit crazy. I want to rewind a bit. And um, take it back to the situation in Houston. Mm -hmm. You pull up to a, what is it, a Walgreens? A Walmart. Walmart. Mm -hmm. Regular shit. Some people approach you. Shit go left. You feel like you got too comfortable out there? Oh, hell yeah. Definitely. Definitely. I feel, I feel like I was, in, I was in a certain place too long. Uh... Wasn't wasn't prepared for for that type of you know what I'm saying for that type of shit, mm -hmm. and, and that's what I be telling niggas, man. Like that day, them niggas them niggas came that day, man. Them niggas came for me that day. I be telling niggas, <clears throat> you know how you hear niggas in the hood, see, bro, that's why you needed me there, man. You need to blow your shit off. Yeah, we all we all would have been dead. All would have been dead. We all would have been dead. Been dead. I'm, my, it's, it's certain niggas who who I'm happy they wasn't with me. I'm yeah. happy them niggas mm. wasn't with me. This nigga, oh my mm. god, I'm happy them niggas wasn't with me. It would have went in a different way, but I was just I was just uh at the mall too long. I was hanging out at the mall way too long. We was in the front of the mall for an hour. Mm. Everybody mm. got yeah. everybody got jewelry on. Uh we in uh we in the Rolls Royce truck. You feel what I'm saying? Tracking too much. Exactly. Attention. So that's why a nigga like me, I really I really wasn't too hard on myself with it because you know what I mean, like a lot of things for me come in lessons like that. All my prison bids was lessons. Uh, just a lot of a lot of things that happened to me was a lesson. So when that happened, I'm thinking first one, a nigga happy he made it out. Like right. I always say, same week Mo3 got killed. That's the same week King Von got killed. Mm. That's the same week Boosie got shot. Mm. So it was like rappers was getting was getting touched. Targeted. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So my man, I I got the, I got the uh, 
I got to get up and walk away from that shit. But right. I mean, nigga, nigga, more prepared, realizing who I am. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's another thing. That's yeah. another thing that that I that I that I struggle with is realizing where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I know where I came from, but realizing where I'm at and and. and in the circles that I should be in, not not the circles that I should be in, because I'm feel I feel like I'm in those. It's just mm -hmm. certain places that I shouldn't be. But right. you know what I'm saying? I'm getting those down packed, but I'm good. I I, I learned a good lesson that day. I learned a good lesson. Do you I feel like you me. abused your celebrity? No, I don't, I, don't, I don't feel like that. Cause I, to be honest with you, I ain't I ain't feel like I was that big of a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you don't got to be a celebrity for niggas to want to do that to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just. Me not knowing that I gotta, you know what I'm saying, move in, move, be in yeah. and out, you know what I'm saying? Because you gave them too much time to like make they move. Like, yeah, oh. hell yeah. So, so you know go saying? from that. And we was all getting, we was all getting food. Niggas was getting food at different spots. That's what was going on. Right. We was getting food at different <laughs> spots. This niggas getting food from here, getting food from here. There was somebody getting food from this one. So everybody's just waiting. But it went from shit like that to just today. We went to we went to a restaurant that we usually go to while we here, and I noticed like, damn, I never even been out the car to go up to the motherfucker. Hmm. You know what I'm mm. saying? Cause I'm hmm. learning. <laughs> yeah. You know what, what, I mean? what, I, what restaurant? I, it's, it's it's Smash Burger. I could have I could have go out and get yeah. to it. Just just certain shit I just don't do no more if I don't got to. I'm not Smash. getting out the car. I'm not being around. And mm -hmm. it's certain and it's certain places that I that I am gonna be at that nigga's like, yo, why the fuck is you here? Right. You know what I'm saying? But you know, just learning and being more selective about that shit. Right. You know what I mean? Do you feel like after a while your 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 um your status kind of has you um caged? Mm, status far as what? As far celebrity as celebrity status. Like you at, the fact yeah, that your face the game at this point. Is yeah. Known. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Like even 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 like if I want to run to the mall with my girl and she like, yo, let's go to the food court, like babe. Yeah. Not being going to the food court. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I've been trying to explain this. Like, yo, to I can't go to Target with you. Exactly. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> I can't go. Go yet. by yourself. I'm not, you know what I mean? I care about you too. But, <laughs> yeah, I can't go, man. Just got to understand you know it. You know, she, she'll say something slick like, damn, you know. like, Or, or if we go into a regular restaurant, I, I, I might have to have somebody with me. It's, it's a few places I, I really don't go nowhere by myself no more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she might say something slick like, "Yeah, man, I, like I'll be having to share my babe." I'm like, "Yes, you do." <laughs> yeah. Share certain shit going on. I'm not coming to these places by myself not, no more. Not regular no more. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Real yeah, shit. Yeah. Shout out to all you bartender chicks. It's always trying to get a nigga to pull up and don't understand what that. Is. Oh fuck no. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no, pulling man. up at no no. I'm 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 not pulling up nowhere, my nigga. You know what I'm saying, and that's just you gotta eliminate the chances. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's fucked up. It, it's it's crazy for me to say in that shit. I'm Mister Outside, but it's just certain places nigga can't go no more. Certain right. situations I can't be in no more. Do you miss it? Yeah, hell yeah, I do. I miss being inconspicuous, jumping out, going to the mall by myself. Ain't no, it ain't, it ain't like I'm a little baby or no shit like that. Mm -hmm. But it's like you know. I went to when I, <laughs> we was we went to fucking uh, just Starbucks. Mm. Nigga just going in there just to grab some shit. Next thing yeah. I know, a motherfucker rapping to me. Motherfuckers taking pictures and shit like that. So it's not all about it's not all about violence either. Yeah, this no. is just about the evasion of your privacy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And the lack of peace. Exactly. So it's just like nigga don't want to deal with that because that's what I learned about the people. Like a nigga might take a might take a like a walk through or a day party. I, w I was at one one time. You know, I had a, I had a rough week. I had a rough week. And I'm in here, people taking pictures, and I'm like, man, I really don't feel like taking pictures today. But motherfuckers see you when you in the building. They like, nigga, you know who you is. You know what you do. You no. signed up for this shit. Word. You came to this <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> nobody went in here. Nobody went in here. Like not today. They're like, what you mean? Person. Not today. Yeah. Facts. Like you outside. You a celebrity. Today, when? Exactly. Like right. what you mean? People don't. That's that, that's why I go back to saying like, you know, the fans. The fans are tough. They tough because. You know, they really don't fuck with you as a person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And to the fans, you know, that, 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 that fuck with us. Yeah. They fuck with your music. Mm -hmm. That's why if the record's not hot no more, they're not fucking with you. Only, only a small percentage of fans will fuck with anything you do. But the rest of them, like, once, once they feel like that, that, that train came and went, it's over. They're not mm -hmm. tapping in. They, they, they on to the next. They, they fuck with you for the talent. Those are casual fans. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. your... Not your not your core fan base. Exactly, your core fan base. They'll defend but, you from. But, but this is what this is what I want to say. And realistically, 
and, and more typically, a, a regular fan is a casual fan. You know what I'm saying? Every artist is not Drake. Every artist is not Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like every basketball player is not Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. So a person, a person like on my level or a little higher, only dealing with casual fans. And it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a certain percentage of those fans who fuck with him regardless. But it's just people who want to listen to music. Oh, this is the nigga right now. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then when it's over, they still fuck with him. But is they going to shows? Is they buying merch? Is they still tapped in after his glory days? Right. Um, they really not. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that's again, that's the difference between your, your casual and your core. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Big Daddy King got fans that have been fucking with him since whenever the fuck. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? And they show up. I was at a little brother show not too long ago. They got fans who have grown up with them, who caught them in college. They're now grown men. Mm -hmm. They got like 401ks and shit. They're there mm. with their, their wives and mm. they might have their oldest son with them. They got that. That's a core fan base. And right. they'll defend that group. I know core Nas fans. I know core Jay fans. According to them, they've never made a bad album ever. You can't right, say right, shit right, bad right. about them ever. Well, look at the names you saying. Like These is like not regular artists. The top niggas. And it's another thing though. Uh... The older, the older the fans are, the better they are. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, hmm. like you said, guys, you say Kane, you, guys who got 20 year careers. Hmm. You know, fans grew up with 30. these niggas. And these niggas, what you, you said, the magic fucking word. That's how I explained it to Griselda fans. 401ks. I'm saying, I don't, not a lot of 13 year old, 14 year olds listen to my shit. You know, they don't got money anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Shout out to the young motherfuckers. Right. But my fans yeah. hit me up like, yo, I'm coming to that show in Ireland. Like, nigga, you got money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga gonna have a vinyl, nigga gonna buy the hoodie. Like the older fans are, are the ones with money. Like the casual listeners, it's like, you know, the young people, like, I mean, like, like, I, like, I, hate, to, like, I hate to be bringing up names and shit, but mm -hmm. just example, like, like Bow Wow. You know what I'm saying? How all the young girls loved him and shit like that. Like, hey, he's gone. All the no. motherfuckers he thought he, no. thought he loved him. Nah, no, we just no. talked to him, bro. Them girls are not going. They're grown ass women now with kids. Yo, you ever seen this nigga hitless? No, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> not the no, 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 nigga. Have you seen, seen the, the chicks that he dated in the industry? No, we know he did his shit, but that's when you in front of him at the shows. No, my nigga, they grew no, up shit. loving this nigga. When these I... bitches is these bitches is not on not on social media talking about this nigga or championing this nigga or buying that new music or them hits. I'm just being. That's true. No, they go to his concert. That's true. And they buy they his. No, I, I agree. Fans. I agree. They gonna, with show up, they, gonna, they gonna show up to another nigga concert and do that. Those are the casual fans. I'm it's sure, but. He specifically has fans who are pulling up to his show. Mm -hmm. Just okay. Almost any arm, uh, most R and B artists you see, dudes who have twenty three. Buster, I, I I work with Buster. Mm -hmm. I've mm -hmm. seen his core fans and how they give it up. They do the shit you're talking about, mm -hmm. right? But they introduce their kids right, to right, Buster, right, right, and right. now their kids is coming around talking about, "Yo, you the best." I've ever heard in my life. Oh, I dope, grew up dope. listening to you. I'm growing up listening to your shit. That's dope. You are going to have those because mm -hmm. you are in the same lineage as the people that we're naming. Right. Lyrical hip hop. That's right, right. that's a thread that stretches all the way back to the beginning. So you will always have those fans who just even if they're not fans of the butcher specifically, mm -hmm. what you do is what they're about. Yeah, and right. and, and that and for whatever point in their lives that they're listening to you, your music is a marker for those mm -hmm. moments. Right, right, right. So like, if it was a if it was a good summer and they was listening to Benny the Butcher, they always remember summer, that summer. They, they always, always going, you know what I mean? And right, your music right, is right. always going to give that feeling like nostalgia. Yeah, yeah, it turns to nostalgia. I'm going to that Benny concert. Uh, uh. And right. they give it a feeling. Even though nigga 65, I want to see him mm -hmm. rock. You know what I mean? Damn, that's crazy, bro. I remember when I was in jail listening to Bird in the Pool. Uh, of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> the first, yo, the first song, the first song I listened to after I bought the album was yo. the King to a God, the joint with you, Wayne, and Sean, Big Sean. Oh yeah, what's that? What's, what's that shit? What's the King to a God? Yo, Timeless. Yeah, yeah I say that song. Yo, Timeless. One of my favorite songs off that album, Working Out. Mm -hmm. Push ups in my cube. We got his face. Uh, yeah, we got his face. Uh, not that face. Yeah. Not that face. Yeah. Not that face. You feel me? I'm a king. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. Then he said it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's real shit. That's how that real shit. That's real but that, that I will always remember that. Right. When I was at a low point, mm. this is what got me through. Mm. You feel know I me? Mean? Well, as far as the standards of the fans and what they hold you to, when they see you, they want the autograph. Mm -hmm. They want the picture. You ever have any situations where it's like? 
Bro, not today. And the fan loses mine. Uh, nah, I, I ain't never had that. Because, but usually we, we, I, I do. I, I sign a lot of autographs. I take a lot of pics. It really be the homies like, yo, bro, one more. I've been having to tell the homies sometimes. Bro, no. I've been having to tell the homies sometimes, man. Don't talk to my fans like that, nigga. That word. You know what I mean? Hold up, stop out. Hold up, nigga. nigga Bono balked on me the first time I met him. Yeah. Bono told me, he was like, yo, Jim, nah, you can't come on the stage, bro. You can't come back here. I'm like, yo, my nigga. I'm saying, I was like, you biting me and shit. Like, what are you talking about, bro? He's like, nah, you can't come back here. I'm like, all right, cool. I understand you overwhelmed. There's a lot going on back here. I get it, bro. No problem, my brother. He came back and we, you know, we talked it out. Everything was fine and all that. Right. But it gets crazy. Yeah, it gets crazy. It gets overwhelming yeah. with fans and shit. I'm, I'm and I'm a, a fan, but I, you know, that day I was coming to work. So. I have like uh, females I'd be out on a date with, and somebody asked for an autograph picture and shit, and they'd be looking at them all funny, and they're like, "Yo, that don't bother you?" And I'd be like. I worked hard for that. Shit. No, real shit. Real you shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Nigga mm-hmm. walked past you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, real shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But um, it, as again, following the, the following that same track line, do you feel like your fans hold you to a certain standard that um, it's unrealistic? Uh, I don't. I don't. I, I don't. I don't think they hold me to a standard that's unrealistic. I think they got unrealistic expectations of me sometimes. Mm. It's like coming from the hardcore Griselda shit. They be like, yo, why are you, why are you trying to get a song with Drake? You know what I'm saying? They, they say dumb shit like that. Oh. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It's like, yo, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? It's no, like, I'm, I'm thinking along the lines of um, trying to sell you a brick or some shit. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's exactly laughs> right. Niggas are niggas trying to... Niggas are, Remember that, remember that time we was in, we was in fucking sax. Yeah, yeah. And nigga walked up. He was in like, "Yo, sax." We was in sax, yes. bro. Yeah. Where you think they gonna be at? <laughs> nigga walked up to me like, "Yo, else. No. Benny the Butcher." I'm like, it was kicked it with the nigga. Ah, uh-uh. ah. Then he spent off. He came right back. This was out here too. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. New York City niggas, man. He came out. He double back. He like, "Yo, like man, I just bought this half." I'm saying he charged me this. Man, I could have this, but if you got something better. I'm, man, I'm thinking like, nigga, you don't got Instagram? I, I mean, I'm a rapper, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shit right, don't work. But this is what I'm YouTube. saying. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Like, niggas that come up to you and, and, and be trying to get, you know, because mm-hmm. they listen to the music. Exactly. They uh, yeah, understand you're paint, you painting pictures, you're drawing up memories mm-hmm. from the past, but some of them niggas are, are still expecting, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That they're gonna turn on the TV one day and Penny the Butcher got caught with 117 oh, kil- man, kilos. Man, man, you never see that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Benny, his, his biggest crime is that he believes you. Not real shit. He's like, you ain't got Instagram? Yes, yes, it's, Instagram. These, these you ain't got niggas, YouTube? Yes, he has YouTube. He heard you. Right. These niggas' biggest crime is 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 the unrealistic standards by. Is yeah yeah I'm talking about it, but y'all niggas really think I'm I'm, I'm speaking the past shit. You know, that's another thing, you know. These rappers lie so fucking much. Mm. Mm. These people are under the, these niggas' thumb and they believe everything you say. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like, man, these, these niggas is not really doing that no more. These niggas never came from that. Mm-hmm. So, like you said, the nigga, like I said, the nigga was like, thought I was supposed to call the police because maybe I, maybe I said tough shit in the rhyme. So he's like, nigga, you tough. You said you got a gun. Take that shot. Walk to the hospital. So, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, everything shot, literally. Shit is that. Yeah, yo, I take ain't. everything literally, yo. Niggas is crazy. Mm-hmm. Niggas is crazy, but I love I love being a, I love being a rapper, man. I, I was watching that interview when Tyler, the creator, said something about he loved being a rapper. And I see somebody say, like, man, Pete, rap, I don't, you never heard, you ain't hear that in a while. A rapper say he proud to be a rapper. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and, and he right. And that's why I want to take this time to say, man, I love being a rapper. Mm-hmm. I love it. Being able to change people's life. Sometimes you be, I know you've been in this situation, you be somewhere and the love don't really be there. Niggas be like, I mean, niggas don't treat you as you was and somebody walk past and go fucking bananas. Yeah. Now the rest of the room looking at you like, yeah, I'm that nigga. Fuck yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> 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 Real shit. So it's like, it's like, man, I love having all that effect on people. I love, I love being, having the ability to, to put words into feeling, you know what I'm saying, to people right. and make money off this shit. So mm-hmm. man, I love being a rapper. So you, you you don't you don't you don't I know you said you miss being able to move anonymously, mm-hmm. but you don't you don't regret anything. You oh, I don't trade. regret. 
I wouldn't trade this shit. I, I, I would, I would, I would trade it back for my brother to get my brother back. You know what I'm saying? But anything else, I wouldn't trade this shit for nothing. This shit come before. This shit is first in my life. Obviously, not in front of my children, but uh-huh. this shit first in my life. Mm-hmm. Breaking generational curses off of this shit. If this shit come first. Like, can't nobody possibly expect be mad at me because I ain't make their birthday because I'm working. Like, man, fuck your birthday. Fuck my birthday. I'm work- I might work on my birthday, nigga. Mm. You know what I mm. mean? Think I'm going to take off on your shit? Mm. Like, I was doing the hosting on my birthday so I can enjoy my shit. Mm-hmm. I'm saying? So make- basically get a check for my shit so whatever I'm spending is it- free. Right. So, I mean, this shit come first, man. And when people don't understand that, man, it ain't, it ain't meant for them to understand. You know what I mean? And you speaking on breaking generational curses, how often do you max out your cash app? <laughs> that, that shit got maxed out so much well. that I don't even got one. You ain't even got one. You got so they be like, yo, could you cash out? I don't even got one. I can't cash out. I don't got one. That's my favorite shit. Yeah. Yo, cat, I don't got one, man. My bad. I, I don't got one. I don't carry no cash on me. Right. No cash. Is it other family members just that's it's like hitting you and It's family members. Uh, it's... It's, it's entrepreneurs, you know, everybody called me, everybody invented the next wheel. Yeah. I'm not mad at the entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? You know, niggas come with crazy ideas, though. Yeah. Like, like what, what's the craziest <laughs> shit you heard? The crazy, this real shit, the craziest shit I heard, right? This was a real, this was a real fucking plan. It was like, it was a, they were selling this KFC. It was an old KFC. My man telling me, yo, buy the KFC. We gonna run a trap like a drive through, <laughs> 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 and, 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 and they wanted, and they wanted three hundred thousand dollars. And he they was telling was me, they really selling chickens, right? He, he was telling me, <laughs> they really yeah, listen, no champ, the nigga was telling me like, you don't gotta put up all the money. I know somebody else who's gonna do it, and they ready. So I'm thinking like, he done talk somebody else into this <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they need nice. for, nigga. <laughs> we gonna run a trap out the KFC. Oh and then my I'm like, God. Then, then what happened? Like, you know what I mean? How was that even smart? Facts. You know what I'm saying it's like, but but people got their ideas. You do better first, off just selling the, chicken the, like the, real. The first the time I off really. duty cop, the first time I off duty cop, looking to look in the bucket and see something here. Oh, it's so, it's so. He said, "Run the trap through the drive-through." <laughs> wow. He was dead ass serious, man. Trap, oh my god! god. Just, you just sell KFC. Yeah, he was just just selling serious. real birds. You heard? Well, yeah. I now, heard some crazy now, shit, man. Following those same lines, I saw you. Uh, someone got you to comment on the Troy Ave tax stone situation, mm-hmm. and um, I think your reply was, you know, he Troy is in that light. They're gonna come for him. Da, 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 da. Now this is before mm-hmm. he took the stand. Do you feel differently afterwards, or do you feel like, yo, y'all just can't be, you know? Trying to trying to judge rappers for what you expect them to do. Man, I feel like it, it, there's no secret about how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I'm a street guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not supposed to be up there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We can all attest that. He 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 found himself in a situation where that's what he felt that he had to need to do, need need to do for his family and for his future and his career. So right. I, I want all of these young niggas to learn from that. We got to keep ourselves out of them situations. Yeah. You know I'm saying mm-hmm. all, all of these niggas saying they they do this, they, these niggas don't know till they been till they been in that situation. Mm-hmm. Right. These niggas ain't going to know what they going to do till they been in that situation. So what I learned from that is I keep myself from out of them situations. You feel what I'm saying? That? And basically just people, places, and things. First is people. That's the first thing you really got to let the fuck go. And that's the hardest. Mm-hmm. Unapologetically, you know what I'm saying? You know, niggas try that guilt shit. Then you supposed to be the homie. You supposed to be like, nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm a dad, nigga. Yeah. You know that. that's, that, what, that, that's the first that, level. That of Trump's world. homie. Yeah. <laughs> that Trump's yeah. your friend. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm right. Right. I'm a dad. Yeah. And that's what it is. And, and, and you know, this, this certain things that that you that we probably want to say as youngsters running the streets and shit, but niggas niggas pushing forty. That's something you. That's the first thing you're gonna tell a nigga now. Mm-hmm. Like nigga, I, my kids, nigga, and niggas gotta respect it. So you know he found himself in a situation where it, it, it was real sticky, and he and he felt like that was his out, and, and and he understood what that was gonna come with. You feel what I'm saying? So 
It's sticky. Even even tax, man. Even tax. He found himself in a st- sticky situation right. over this internet shit and, and just going back and forth and, and ego and everything right. like that. So man, I just learned that nigga, man, I gotta I gotta I gotta keep myself out of that shit, man. You know what I mean? Like I gotta keep myself out of that shit. You so know, I gotta you know, ask go. you, you, that people say it all the time. Is all all promotion good promotion? All publicity good 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 promotion? Nah. All, all publicity ain't good publicity. That's bullshit. That 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 goes that goes for people who looking for publicity. You got people who's not looking for any. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? <clears throat> if niggas if niggas just want their name out there, niggas niggas would take it either either, either way. Mm-hmm. N- niggas niggas would take it dissing a nigga, or niggas would take it getting beat the fuck up. You see niggas you see niggas go live crying. Niggas go live shit bleeding split. You yeah, really got me. Yeah, but we still here, you know what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, shit is wild. People just want attention. <laughs> shit is stupid. <laughs> These niggas just love this attention. I feel like shit. that situation wasn't even about nothing. Somebody lost their life and somebody yeah. going to jail. Yeah, rest in peace, bang. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I like, mean? It wasn't like a nigga raped your moms or, you know, did nothing, took no money from you or. Mm-hmm. It wasn't nothing serious for that situation to happen. You know what I mean? But at the but at the same time, you gotta consider, you know, if you you out there doing certain things to people through the net, right? You expecting to run into them, putting yourself in a position to have to commit a crime. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I feel like a lot of that shit is avoidable, and I look at me personally. I look at like a lot of that shit. Like, oh yeah, he promoting me. You keep talking about me, he promoting me. I don't look at that like I'm going to see a nigga and, and do something to him. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I look at it like, yo, he keep promoting me, nigga. Yeah, mm-hmm. you lying. I'm that I don't, I don't okay. like the, I don't like the antagonizing. It's okay, though, that you lying. Mm-hmm. I I, what I don't agree with is the antagonizing part, yeah. right? I don't like nothing that happened with that situation. Yeah. Me right. me that whole situation is just fucking yeah, hungry, and it's yeah. confusing as fuck. Yeah. Bigger asked me about it, I'm like, bro, I'm confused. Yeah. But... <laughs> Um, unfortunately, Banger lost his life, and rest in peace to him and his rest family. Peace, yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah, but di- but what bothers me is going <clears throat> online and seeing Troy Ave doing videos, like on the court steps. I got to ask, though. Um, how do you turn it off? How do who turn it off? How do you turn it off? Me personally? Yeah. I mean, we, 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 we are, this is the post- Post Tupac era, right? We saw Tupac go through situations, mm. and a song will come with it, or uh, this, and then you see that, and then you know what I mean. And mm. if the labels are looking at this nigga, because you can see his blueprint across the whole country. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Mm. They're like, oh, is he blood? Yeah, sign him. Oh, he got the bandana. Oh, the, you know what I mean? Like they're mm. they're looking for that. Mm-hmm. Because he was like the Michael Jackson in this shit, right, right? You know what I mean? How do you turn it off? Well, this is a if you, we, this is... Benny said earlier, you probably get more personal in your music than you do in a conversation, right? How do you turn that off? Well, this is a different situation because you have the internet now. Right. When you use Tupac as an example, it was a thing where we only see it on MTV or BET, whatever the case may be. Nigga, imagine Tupac video music box. Yeah, you will have a hundred thousand <laughs> million followers. That'd be crazy. Not. But in this situation here, it's like Troy is an independent artist who can go online at any moment. As soon as somebody says his name, he's making a video and he's making a record about it. Right. And he's capitalizing off of that person talking about it. Right. Immediately. Right. You understand? Because he understands how this shit works. Because all publicity is good publicity. No. For him. It's no. Really for, not. To that for him. Point, to that him. For him. Right. Yes. But honestly speaking, there's no way to turn it off. As no long way. as this shit exists, as long as these platforms exist that allows an independent artist, person, whatever the case may be, the freedom of speech to get on these platforms and say whatever the fuck they want until the higher ups say, yo, quit it. Not, it's going to continue to happen. But it's so not even that. Because even in a major label, that, that's what, still... What, the situation that just took place. I think it's us. Yeah, man. I think the people want to see that shit. That's what the people want to see. They want to see it. Somebody could make a song about some other shit, whatever. Nobody nobody checking that shit out. Right. As soon as the shit go up, 
You know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas now, clicking now on that niggas shit. Now niggas actually want to see yeah. something happen. That's what, that's what people want to see. It's like now, right. you, once you mention a nigga name or whatever, now what's going to happen? We want to see these niggas bump heads now. Right. That's what the internet want to see now. You, you know, know how you me? stop it? You do what China's doing with TikTok. You know in China, TikTok don't show none of the fuckery on their, on their TikToks. Everything's education based, them. music, positive music, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. It's about the institution. Yo, that's America. That should have never America happened. is fucking all about capitalism. It doesn't matter to America. Right. That's the only way you're going to stop some shit like that. It's a big gonna institution. Make, somebody's going to make money off of, of someone going to jail. Somebody's right. going to make money off the gun that was used in the crime. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to make... Yeah, so... so you don't it's the same thing. Yo, bro, it's the same thing Shakespeare said, bro. It's a comedy and death. Mm -hmm. That's what people are intrigued with, especially in America. If we beef with each other right now on the net, right? I don't gotta see you, God forbid, something happen to you. That shit falls on me. Right. You feel me? And people don't understand. Nah, they still gotta prove it, though. Yeah, the they still of, gotta prove it, but the, that's, the, day, the internet is gonna think it was me. At the end of the day, the internet gonna think that fights get more clicks. Than hugs. Yeah, anything, right, bro. Shit. I, you can see somebody dapping all day. Nobody ever stops. Like, Two niggas fighting in the stopping. middle of the streets. You don't even know them. A thousand cameras is out. Right. Attention is the new currency, and 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 negative attention is the common denominator between all people. Some of us don't know love, but we all know violence. We've all right. seen hate. We've all we've all felt fury. Everybody knows that feeling. Some people don't know what love really looks it. like. It. I, I, well, I, I, you're not I, even desensitized to the. To, you are desensitized to what comes after. But first and foremost, you're entertained. Jerry no Springer shit. didn't go all them fucking years on TV uh, showing one. people wrapping it up. Number one. That shit was fights, and that shit is decades. We was little kids when when fucking Jerry Springer was on, and that shit went it, for it, decades. It appears that way. I know it definitely appears that. Hate wins, but it does. I didn't say it wins. No, it doesn't. I it never said it wins. It, it just even, attracts even, attention. Even to say that the people want to see that more than they want to see love, we can't even say that. I said one gets more. Well, yeah, no, I, I can't say that. I will say that one yeah. gets more clicks than the other. Yeah, but right, that. Right. Is, but you gotta assume. You gotta think about why, who's doing the click. The reason why they get in the clicks is because what is being presented in front of them. Right. You know, mm -hmm. that's the only reason. So we can't get confused. The world wants love. The world wants to be saved. People want all of that. You know what I'm saying? Now, what is being presented in front of them, yeah, they're going to click on negative stuff because that is it's nothing positive really being set in front of them. The reason why we do successful the way we do on this show is because of positivity, not negativity, bro. Bigger, I'm gonna I'm going they to They click a, on us the way they I'm, do. No, I'm going no I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to agree with you from a from a very specific perspective. I've always said negative people tend to be louder than positive people. And they don't have to outnumber us to be louder. The, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the loud minority is how I feel about it. Mm -hmm. I think there's a certain section of people who are out there being ultra destructive, ultra blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, people who are happy are just going on about their lives. Mm -hmm. They don't click on negative shit. Two people in a good relationship, you don't hear nothing from them. They're just happy. They're just all floating. Two people in a fucked up relationship, you hear about them every day. Blue face. <laughs> Look how fast that happened. That was seconds. Yeah. Look how fast. Two people yeah. in a negative relationship, you hear about it constantly. Two people who are off being happy, 20, 30 years, you don't hear shit. You turn around, they, all you know is they still together. So, and that's if you paying attention. So, so being that this is the music business, can you be mad at someone who's going to abuse that formula? I'm From the business aspect, no. Mad? When From it the affects, music? go ahead. I'm gonna let no, you no, no, no. You, you, you go, bro. When it affects, yeah. I'm saying when you, when it, when you, when you, when you, when you talk, when you're speaking about other people, mm -hmm. when, when, when you, when you throwing somebody else under the bus, then, then it's the bullshit. Mm -hmm. But if you a nigga like. If you a nigga like, uh, what's the nigga name from MTV? The, the, the white nigga used to be doing all the crazy shit. Tom Austin Green. Daily? If you Tom, Tom Green, Green doing Green. dumb shit on the street, so what? But mm -hmm. once you start including other people in your bullshit, then it's, then it's like, like, uh, like all the, uh, the, the, the niggas who be on YouTube. I don't want to say these niggas' names. These niggas be coming for me. 
Mm. You already got beef with Charleston White and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got no beef with Charleston White. <laughs> I have no beef with Charleston White. But you see, like, it wasn't me. You know, these guys come on and and, and I mean, and they they whole shit is other mm. niggas. Yeah, mm. they whole shit is just other niggas. It's yeah. other niggas, like. Mm-hmm. But they know the controversy shit sell. Right. You know what I'm saying, but they just playing the game. They just playing the game. Could you be mad at them? Not really. But hell, hell fucking yeah, you could. You saying niggas' names. You yeah. affecting niggas' livelihood. Right. You spewing negative things or different narratives about somebody. And these people earn their money off their name. You don't have to be mad at it, but you don't have to respect it. Mm-hmm. I don't respect no, it. No, I don't have to respect I'm not mad either. at it because that's how the game goes. Yeah. But do I respect... No, I respect somebody who, who got the attention off their talent. Mm-hmm. Who never had to pop shit about anybody else. Other than to be, beat their own chest and say, I'm the best. And if you think you're better than me, try me. But you that's also it. got people that are... Actually believe the shit they saying. Well, I can't. Those niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That 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 calls for therapy. Not yeah, just more. just like because the fans put the battering people back. Just this this is what I say. When I see everybody try to turn on Ye, I'm like, y'all made that nigga like that. Hmm. This nigga was making these albums and niggas was saying Ye was God. Can he this? He that? He that? And then you know, he, he he believed it. That's what it looked like to me. He he was in that state. Right. Y'all lifted him up so high. I'm saying he could do no wrong. Now he's walking around this motherfucker like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all champion him to that point and then and then the reality strikes. Exactly. And they exactly. clipped him and needed him again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Clipped him and needed him again. That's so that's what these dudes, man, that's what these dudes do, man. They, 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 this, this game do. It uh it it'll make you think you something you not. Or how, it, how do you avoid that trap? Uh Keep people around you who are going to tell you the naked truth and be honest with yourself. That mirror, the most powerful tool in life is one of these motherfuckers right here. It's that mirror. This is where problem solving starts. And, and this is a whole a lot of problem solving start. People don't want to go to the mirror. Like, like man, we grown. Niggas know what they should be doing and they shouldn't be doing. Nobody yeah. got to tell us that. Wow. I mean, can get up here and give a whole bunch of excuses or not. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Niggas know what they... They should have been doing like I mean, like like the situation with homie. Like if that shit would have went bad in Buffalo, for me or him. Yeah. I I, I a nigga knew that nigga got to go back to that mirror. Nigga can't blame no nothing. Right. People got to go in that mirror. They don't want to start in that mirror. So when I say start in that mirror, is that I know who I need to be around. I know what I know who to listen to. It, it, I got people around me who are gonna tell me straight the fuck like it is. Your wife being number one. Definitely her, city boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's my right hand man, uh, my <laughs> manager you, Chase, uh, my lawyer John Jekyllek. These are people who are, who are tell me shit. They say slick shit. They they you know what I'm saying they, they say what they feel. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. And you need that. Right. All that yes man shit. That shit is bullshit. That ain't never helped nobody. Mm-hmm. You gotta tell a nigga like man, you fucking up. You ain't focused. Mm-hmm. You ain't focused, man. You know you you gonna get mad. I'm a Sagittarius. I, I don't like to hear. I don't like to hear about myself. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't like that shit. But I'm gonna listen to it. You know what I'm saying, why you telling me? I I might not mean, but I'm gonna fuck with it. Especially if I fuck with you, I'm gonna be like, yo, this nigga right. Right. You know what I'm saying so. Niggas need to go in that mirror. Niggas know what they need to be doing. So stop all that fake tough guy shit. Ninety percent of the fans ain't street motherfuckers. We can't be impressing niggas about shooting motherfuckers to people who never shot nobody, who never gonna shoot nobody. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the craziest shit is trying to impress people who don't live this life. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to impress nobody on social media. Niggas ain't giving it up like that anyway. That's not the arena to do it on, right. to prove you tough. Mm. It's not the internet, mm. man. They got places, man. You can really prove you tough. They got motherfucking bro. You <laughs> shit, real fight clubs. You yep. see that movie? Bro, bro, fighting knuckle, bare knuckles in the knuckle, basement. Knuckle, like, knuckle, knuckle, one of them knuckle, knuckle, shit. Shout out to Juggernaut. Shout out to Juggernaut. Shout out to juggernaut. Facts. Facts. Yeah. Facts. They got shit for niggas who want to prove they tough. You can't do that shit on a on a on a keyboard, man. That shit don't translate. Hmm. What Yayo said. I know you from computers, not a shooter. Well. <laughs> 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 What's the end game? I mean, the end game is the end game is 
to be here years from now. And, and, and if you can't be here years from now, let your work be here years from now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It ain't about no money. Money only matter to people who don't got the shit. It ain't about no fucking money. And then when you do, and then once you get blessed enough that you do get money, all of your colleagues gonna have money. O only, only, only the people, only like certain family members going. And I'm saying everybody, everybody around these millionaire niggas got money. Of course, they got the most money in their family. They the richest niggas in their family. So mm -hmm. back home, they holding it down. But niggas walk in that room, everybody got money. Conversation ain't about money. Conversation is about who's appealing the most to this or who's number one here. Right. It ain't about money. Uh, shit, nigga. What the fuck Hove going to buy that Diddy can't buy? That Dre can't buy? Dr. Dre can't buy? Mm. It's about, you see, you keep seeing these niggas' names in the news, or Dre did this, or Hove did that, or Diddy just did this. That's what the fuck it's about. Right. It ain't about the paper. It's about the influence. Right. Only motherfuckers with money care, without money only care about that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's about the res it's about the respect of your peers. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the internet. Mm -hmm. If you got if you got niggas like if you got niggas like Meth, niggas like Ray, niggas like the locks, you got them niggas stamping your shit like, no, nah, keep going, man. We fuck with you, you represent. That's yeah. that's the end game for me. Yeah. Is is the respect of my peers. Shout out to the big bros. Yeah, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and and just let my work continue to shine on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a hood nigga, man. It, 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 ain't, it ain't the money. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I lose all this shit today. And I, and I never will. I got too many businesses. But I lose all this shit today. I be back riding me a motherfucking 2020 motherfucking Jeep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. I mean a regular Prezi condo somewhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? This shit ain't about nothing. Yeah. This shit is about the respect of your peers, man. And, 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 and being respected by your family and all that shit. Right. Shit ain't about nothing, man. I mean, Who I hear you. Who you listening to? Who you listening to? Uh, no, no, no. Just not no. Just just saying it because he here. I'm listening to Fuego Bass because we we finishing up his album. His album about to drop 420. Mm. Biggest since can be from Hartford. So uh. been putting that together. Just turned everything in like yesterday. About a week late. Been working hard on that shit. So just been listening, fixing the order on that. Mm. Listening to bass. Honestly, just listening to a, a bass and Malik. He one of my artists too. Uh, he ain't all because them niggas' albums about to come out. Right. But outside of them, Trench Runner Pootie. Uh, uh, some shit I found on Instagram. He talking some shit. Talking some dope boy shit. I fell in love. I downloaded that shit quick as fuck. Uh, uh, Tracy T. He just dropped some shit. I be listening to the most weirdest shit. Tracy I'm, T. I gotta check him out. Uh, yeah. Tracy T. You know what I'm saying? He used to be signed to MMG. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Tracy T. Tracy T. Tracy T. Man, he was on that song. When you war ready? With with Ross. Oh, and, with Ross. oh I know you talking, yeah, talking about. Yeah, Ross about. and okay. Jay Z. That's him on there. That's yeah, him yeah, on the hook. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Okay. I know uh, you, you fuck with Sauce? Sauce Walker? Yeah, hell yeah, I fuck with Sauce. Yeah. I see he dropped yeah, us even on the tour. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Sauce. Man. I think it's crazy. And no, used to battle rap too. Word. Yeah. Yeah, he get busy, man. He got rap. He get busy. Rap, rap. But you know what I mean? Old Nas. That's my secret weapon. Mm -hmm. I go back to that oh, old Nas. Hold on. You a hit boy, bro. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Shout out my nigga Hit. Yeah, shout out to Hit. God, shout out my yo, nigga homie. Hit. Hey, he doing a lot of Shout crap. out to Hit. Yeah. yeah. No, real shout out yeah. to that that freestyle that. he did with Alchemist. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy, bro. Was and crazy. he was shooting. Mm -hmm. And he was shooting. <laughs> was I mean, shout out Hit. Shout out Derringer. Shout out Alchemist. Uh, shout out just all the... Shout out Harry Fraud. That's how I, I like to work with niggas who, who could who could bring some shit to the table. Hmm. Niggas, when you walk in the studio, be like, "Yo, I hear this for you." Like, what you think about this? Who playing the beat? I don't like. I don't, I, I don't really like picking the beats. I like the producer to have that shit ready. Like, what you hear me on, nigga? Like, what could you hear? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. if if you play some me <clears throat> some mediocre shit, but you but you tell me you hear me on it, but I respect your opinion, I'm a, I'm gonna try it out. Cause maybe you hear something I don't hear. Right. Mm -hmm. So a nigga just working like that. Shout out to all them niggas. Why? Why? So, um, you doing a uh, Valentine's Day album next year? Uh, I see. I, I see. Man, for me, man, for me, do this song for these hoes, man. You better play it for them too. Yo, yo, it should be crazy. It it should be up now, nah, my nigga. I, I, you know, I got the, I got the, my mind just worked different. You know what I mean? I see shit and I be like, why he not? Why he not? 
Like, shout out to Dave East. Boy, Dave yeah, East is stupid. I play bad stuff. chick records. Because bitches fuck with this nigga. Uh-huh, right, They right, fuck right. with him. That's mm-hmm. what they want. They waiting for it. Now, they, they, they really is waiting. My like, nigga, this nigga picked the most gutterish shit. I was like, <laughs> That's all right, man. That's it's fact. cool. All right, let's do this. You know what I mean? I guess we rapping again. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, shit. Yeah. Shit, it is what it is. But well, what's going to happen is what's, what I call a meth effect. Mm-hmm. When he dropped... A record for the ladies, he, it's gonna have that meth effect. Mm-hmm. Same way meth did to Cal. Yeah. And when he dropped all that, that record with Mary, yeah. all I need. it was over. Yeah, meth said he hated it. Nah, nigga. I, I, yeah, that was that, that shit. shit. That was that shit. Right. That's the shit right there. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I wanna say, I wanna personally say thank you, not only you, Westside Conway, for reminding niggas that this sound. It's us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And keeping mm-hmm. that alive and reluctantly, not even realizing, carving a new path in a genre mm-hmm. in an era where, you know, people are losing right, their right, identity. Right. You know what I'm saying? Salute to you. Man, love and Get in the fuck! <laughs> coming, nigga. Yeah. Time. It's hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Smack. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends sleep earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard.